I'll be concerned if you're getting rucked. <laughs> right. We are good. We are good. We are good to go, people. I need one of those to calm my nerves. <laughs> Oh no, just there. It just seemed like the waves are crashing over the front of the boat again. There's so much drama. The drama's all done. Okay, we are live. We're good. Microphone's off. Cool. When, when are you guys ready to go? What time is it? Kickoff is definitely one. Because I reckon maybe in a few minutes we go live. So it's streaming a picture at the moment? So it's just got a picture, eh? No. Nope. Put a picture up there. Okay. Have you got the TV working now? Have a look. There you go, boys. Cool. Look at that streaming. That is, that is that's our... That's what's going out live. live. That is not going to live there. That's going to be fine, mate. Do you want me to get some tape behind it? I kind of need to get it up a little bit higher, eh? How are we? I've got tape in my thing so we can tape it. So that. Good afternoon, the Waikato Rugby Nation, and here we are today at Willoughby Park, and if we look up and we see that thing called a sun minty, and we haven't seen that for a wee while, it's uh, been very wet underfoot for the bulk of this rugby season, but here we are today, the climax of the Gallagher's Women's Premiership in front of what is starting to be a very, very good crowd here at Willoughby Park, and beside me...
Welcome here to Willoughby Park, uh, the Waikato Nation, uh, our Facebook nation who is following us today here. And uh, look at this day. It's just purely magnificent. A blue sky, the sun that we haven't seen much over the first six months of this calendar year. The Hamilton Old Boys Huskies are already out there. And here come the Melville women's team. Today, Minty, Ash, Gabby Sutherland and Rihanna Aspinall playing their 50th game. They're going to get their 50th game Blazers tonight. Yeah, look, it's pretty cool when you see uh, the, the growth and the strength of women's rugby now right around the country, and especially here in the Waikato. You know, previous FPC champions, they've done uh, wonderful things for the game here in, in the Waikato and uh, more things to come. Lots of young ladies following the footsteps of people like Renee Holmes. So like Renee, of course, on the bench today, but you, know, you can dream now to, live, to, to be big. You know, we can look at sevens, we can look at 15s, and there's pathways for young girls to um to make it to the top and this is where it starts. Yeah, it certainly does. And and, and thank you to you, Graham Minty Mead, and alongside us is Joel Scalanders this afternoon for giving your time up uh here this afternoon to make this final really, really special uh for our public. And as uh, Joel and as you look around the ground uh uh, there's a few hundred people already gathering as what is going to be a special day for our region. Uh firstly the FP, uh, the uh, Gallagher's Women's Premiership Final, and then at a stadium just next to us this afternoon, um, my mate beside me, Graham Minty Mead, will be calling the Chiefs versus the Queensland Reds. Yeah, it's going to be a big day. Another one, Fox, that I've um, put my hand up for. I don't know why. I do a radio show, do two commentaries a day. Why not? We might as well be completely shattered tomorrow. Thanks for the opportunity, mate. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> really, really good of you. But it is, uh, it's going to be Melbourne to kick off, and it is. Um, it looks like the number 10, or number 9, is it? Can't quite see no, number nine. Bailey Rangi Ta'awa. Samantha Wood, the number nine from Melbourne, was going to be kicking off. Hamilton Old Boys. They've been uh, pretty much unstoppable this whole season so far. It's going to be kicked deep. It's going to bounce right across the top and deep into the 22. Running ball straight away. It's the number 14 coming back. Kalira Killer, Singh. Her nephew, her cousin, of course, playing for the Fiji and under 20s. Just talking to her, her uh, uncle a few minutes ago. Oh, boys, just with the, the Huskies, with a bit of ball and a bit of drive. Fifth the lineup, the number one. Oh, boys, just struggling to get out of their uh, quarter, uh, Fox. Yeah, good defence coming in again from um, Santa Reeve, the five. Yeah, straight away, Minty, you can tell the sort of game plan that uh, the Hussey's going to play. Oh, oh there's a mistake. Offside, but, though, Melville. But you can see, Minty, how the Huskies aren't committing many to the contact area, to the ruck area, because they are wanting to move this big Melville full pack around, when Melville will want to be doing the opposite, and they will want to control the ruck and slow it down. Yeah, they do. And look, Melville want to play it in the forwards, and um, Huskies will want to spin it wide, just try and get some speed and run them around the paddock. Lee Jeffries, nice to see her back in the refereeing ranks as well. Um, been out for a little while, come back this year, and uh, just good to see her back refereeing. Yes. Very talented ref. Still giving back to the game, Minty. How cool is that? Like, Lee has been involved at uh, the highest level at IRB, and here she is back at grassroots today uh, for this game. Uh, and it's fantastic, as you said, Mint, to see her back. Vicky Rose Green with a throw for old boys. Of course, uh, had one game, came on as a replacement, number six for the uh, Chiefs Monoa side. Running ball, Ash Gabby Sutherland gets bumped off and pushed out of the road. Just Huskies with ball at the moment. Just sloppy ball, though. That's going to put people under pressure. They're going backwards at 100 miles an hour. They're behind the advantage line. Gabby Sutherland there making some work and uh, making a nuisance of herself. Now the gap starts to open up. That's the 12 put on the ground. And a Masters. Yeah, well done there, Minty, by number nine for Melville, Samantha Wood. Now, this young lady, Minty, I've been out on this ground a couple of times this week, and both times she has been here practicing her goal kicking. Uh, a very uh, dedicated young lady to the cause for her team, and uh, she's got a very good educated boot, as you can see there. You know, old boys haven't been out of their half yet, um, under all sorts of pressure from Melville. They're not making the advantage line. They're getting pushed back. They're getting knocked back. Folks, just online, please don't click on any of the comments, in this, any, uh, any links in the comments. They are scammers. Um, I've got to do something that I normally do to prevent it, but please don't click on any of those links. Great take off the top by Melville. That's there for the little number nine. Wood um, out to the midfield. Morky. Oh, good tackle by Titi Aho, the number 10 for Huskies, just stopping them dead in the tracks. 
penalty against mm -hmm. um, Old Boys over the top off their feet. That was the seven coming mm -hmm. in. I think Roland Duplessis, Melville have gone quick. So Samantha Wood there again, Minty. She's had a strong start. The number nine with the headgear on. Oh, around the side. I think there's advantage to Melville again. We mm -hmm. are, yep. Oh. Could have been a bit of advantage there. Yeah, Mel. E.T. had the ball off that. Yeah, Minty, I think Melville, they'll just slow things down here. Uh, they may go for the line out or say they'll back their set pieces. But uh, old boys, you know, we talked about it. They're playing a little bit hot potato with the ball at the moment. They're trying to uh, to not hit the uh, the contact area. And uh, they're getting penalised, at, um, punished at the moment, aren't they? In the words of uh, Steve Gordon, um, they're being cute inside their own 22. Turnover, though. Old boys have got it. They're going to try and run it out. And they do so. Good run from the one. Tatapu. That ball's not going to go out. Yes, it is. Horrible bounce. That's oh. just not a nice bounce, is it? That's an unfair bounce to uh, Brianna Pyre. That's a good kick, though, my old mate, isn't it? Yeah, like it is. um, Alia, she comes from a football background. This is just her second year in uh, rugby union. She's already represented the New Zealand uh, Mary Sevens under 18 team, and she's uh, she's been very impressive this year. Top uh, point scorer in the Gallagher's Women's Premiership. First throw of the day for uh, Maya, the number two from Melville. Just waiting for uh, Ash Gabby Sullivan to tie a boot up. No score here after a few minutes. Off the top. Oh, nice. Great take two by Sakalea. Ooh. Running ball up the middle for Melville. That's aggressive. They're uh, dragging in the Huskies' defence. Oh, I tell you, Minty, uh, Tuffy Owl has made a very strong start to this game. Number one for uh, the Huskies on defence, hasn't she? She has indeed. Running ball again. Gabby Sutherland straight into her friend. Leomi Kloppers, both on the FPC side. Kloppers isn't going to let go. Try and drag the ball out. Running ball from Melville, but again, it's sloppy ball. Half a break from Melville. Old boys trying to get across the top. Old boys haven't been into the Huskies half yet, straight into the hands of the number three, Aspinall. She knows which way to go forward, and that uh, way, Fox, and that's forward. Yeah, she only knows one way, Rihanna, a um, very impressive young lady, and uh, been spent the off season in Spain. Uh, and has come back and uh, is just rearing to go to get involved again, again in our FPC team this season. Wood on the blind side. Ball again there for Espinal. Running strong too. Old boys trying to get across the top. Leone Klopper's looking for the turnover. Not there. Wood. Ooh. Running ball around the back. Cut back from Melville. Just uh, bounced out. Huskies defence. Old boys defence really struggling here. We might have a turnover. Not quite. Just that was close. Number five again. Sinarev head down and charges forward. Wood. It's going to look right. Milo. Ooh. Ooh. Passing's uh, really manky. We're going to come back for a penalty, I think, to Melville for our boys uh, off their feet, not supporting body weight or the knock-on. Yeah, this is how Melville want to play the game, Minty. They won't get too cute, as uh, Stevie Gordon says. They will want to just hang on to the ball and keep recycling it. They won't go to, uh, to an edge like old boys will. They'll play very, very direct. But so far, it's working for them, and I'm very impressed with their start. Yeah, it is. Look, um, they're denying Huskies the advantage line mm. and that's what they're going to have to do all day because if you give them half a, half a break over that advantage line you're in all sorts of trouble um they've, they've, they've got players and skill all across the back line and a masters princess elliot sing on the wing um Tia todd on the other wing yeah they're just pace pace to burn yeah, 100% min Minty, and also you look at that back row for our boys of Kennedy, Simon, Rowling, Duplessis, and Noisha Hamilton, that's very impressive, back three, and uh, so you, they won't want to go too wide, because uh, they'll be quick to the uh, to the ruck area every time. Yeah, and they, they, they want to shut down the likes of Kennedy, Simon, because she gets the ball in hand, you know, she's, she's hard to stop, she'll, she'll make ground, but again, denying possession, or just knocking them back over that advantage line is giving, right now, it's giving Melville just a slight edge in what's going on in the game. And this is suiting Melville. Look, they're slowing the game down. I'd yep. imagine TK Milwaukee would have spoke to his side. And when do they get the set piece, just slow it right down and let's play to our strengths. Yep, very much so. And I think um, Maddie Finch, the number six, just a young lady, quite impressed with her so far. Ball carries and uh, I believe to get around the paddock. And of course, she's helped out by uh, Mata Iti on the number seven. Good scrum by Melville. Running ball. It's a bit, bit of a flat pass. Looking for the cut. Here comes the cut back in. 13 coming back in. Potoma. Potama goes to ground. Ball's been stolen by uh, old boys, the Huskies, but it's been knocked back again to the halfback, Wood. Wood looks on the blind side again. It's really rough sort of rugby, Fox. It's, it's not structured, and that's playing into Melville's hands at the moment. 
Yeah, again, as we talked about, Melville are playing very direct, and there goes Ash Gabby Sutherland, just an outstanding player, Ash Gabby Sutherland, but no clear Ooh, release. Lee Jeffrey says offside. come back, though, Minty. No, come back for a penalty. Um, I'll boys up offside. Now, that's right out in front. Fox, what are you going to do? That's a final? You take three points? Yeah, I think you do. And uh, the young lady who we've been watching all week out here practicing a goal-kicking, Samantha Wood, I would imagine that she would say, uh, Lee Jeffries, I think I might have a shot here. Penalty count at the moment, guys. 5-1 that Hamilton Opera has conceded. Eight, eight minutes gone. <laughs> Nil all. Melville just camped down in... Uh, this end of the woods. Impressive start, Minty. And uh, you talked about Maddie Finch. Uh, and, of course, where did she come from? She's out of the Principality of Telmudu. Oh, her, don't start. Her family. Not, so uh, not Finch contracting. Not, not this early in the, in the um, commentary place. And I uh, thought I need to get it you in have. there early. She's an impressive player at seven. And she's going to be the link between the, uh, the tight Melville forwards and their outside backs today. Chip kick. And over it goes. 3-0. Melville take the lead after nine minutes. And they deserve it back because um, old boys, when the old boys kick off, this is going to be the first time they've been in Melville's half in eight minutes. Yeah. Of a sign that of a side that's dominated everywhere at the moment, Melville are just playing unstructured rugby, which is knocking Huskies off off their game plan. I think Minty too, they learned from the first game and the se earlier in the season where they kicked away too much ball, um, and they just played right into the Huskies' hands today. As you can see, they're recycling it. They might take it just too wide of the ruck, but they're not trying to do anything cute at the moment. No, they're not. And um, Sakalia takes the ball and just charges straight up the middle. Wood yeah. puts it on the right foot and punches it down towards where Itami is uh, coasting across, oh, out on the full. Yeah. Unlucky. That was the right yeah. kick. It yeah. was the right thing. Unfortunate, Minty. And we've already talked about Samantha Wood quite a lot in this first 10 minutes. She's quite an impressive young lady. Uh, she's got a very good pass on her at the base of the uh, the scrum for uh, for halfback. And also, she's a very good kicker of the rugby ball. Green, the number two for Huskies. Trying to the line out. Be looking, I'd say, for Cloppers. The big number five. No, up goes the number four taken. That's Ooh. funny, but that's not straight. Straight. She she'd see it. She took it with her arms facing her halfback. So uh, yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the hooker's throw there, Minty and Vicky Rose Green there. Her elbows were a little bit white, and what happens when that happens is you actually force your arms against the ball, and that's why it was crooked. She just needs to get bring those elbows in a little bit um, and keep her fingers on on the ball as long as possible. So uh, not straight. First, not straight of the game, and uh, Melville ball. Melville scrum is uh, they're going to love this. Look, they're going to want to have competitiveness amongst the, the forwards all day long. Just keep running into each other. The Melbourne, Melbourne team with Ash Gabby Sutherland at eight, they're just going to keep wanting to mash into each other. Just keep that trash ball coming and uh, getting closer and closer. Yeah, well, you look at the setup here. Uh, it's either Ash off the back or they're going to go nine straight to 12. Um, and uh, 12 will set, set uh, a phase in the middle of the field, oh, but that's a good scrum. Big scrum oh, from that. Oh, yeah, very good scrum. They got underneath, eh, and they just yeah. picked them up and drove them. Chelsea Alley down here. I don't know what her excuse for not playing is. Chelsea, you got an excuse for not playing? She thought the club came in. Hey? Okay. There we go. Can we take that as a... Can we take... Chelsea's simple, actually. I should be in right. Yeah. Are we going to take that as an excuse, Fox? Yeah, well, I think we'll give it... Oh, we'll accept that, that as an excuse. We'll so that's that right. One. We'll accept that as a... So turn over in the scrum. Yeah. Huskies with a good scrum. Got underneath the old, um, Melville front yep. row and just... Uh, Push them back for the turnover. Yeah, yeah. So you look at the setup here, Minty. Um, they will probably go back door here, 10 to 12. So 13 will come in and they go back. See, here we go. No. Straight they 12 on the cut. 12 on the cut. And a Masters on the cut back. Ball's there again. Titiaho at first receiver. Now the little chip kick through. Ooh, We're going to go offside. Lee Jeffrey says, Minty. Just um, throwing it out in the 13. Princess Elliot on her outside. Kaleta Singh. What a great day here, Minty. Look around. Nice to have the sun on your back for a change rather than Tremendous. rain. You know, <laughs> Minty, I would already be thick today, but I didn't bring that white cream called sun lotion. And hey, already, yeah. I can feel well, my little extra I'm wearing a hat, Fox, because i got oh. no hair. I know better than that. Yeah, I know. I do. Well, I Tap Beanley. Here goes the run. Tuffy L. Good start, Minty, by Tuffy L. And she's been very impressive in this first 10 to 15 minutes. Yep. First time uh, Huskies have been down here. Cloppers throwing wide to Vicky Rose Green. Titiaho cuts back in, runs into Cloppers. But uh, again, lost control of the ball. Picked up by Melville. Breakout time. Defence trying to get back to shut down Potomar, but Potomar puts it to ground. 
Good ball. Numbers. Numbers. They should have gone wide. Oh, big tackle. Was that? Up and over and down. Take that. Is that Vicky Rose Green? Well, Old boy's trying to get uh, Rose Green stealing the ball. Stealing the ball. Oh, Turnover Huskies. Should have gone. Ball's been put on the ground. It's all on for love and money here. Bring it to our half back for the Huskies. Out to the six. Naisha Hamilton. We'll come back for penalty high tackle. Somebody got up and down and dropped on their backside fairly smartly. Yeah, well, I said that was, uh, it wasn't actually Vicky Rose Green or the tackle was Rolling Duplessis, a South African princess, and she, that was a strong tackle. Vicky Rose Green with the steal there. Um, old boys are actually, with our helter skelter earlier on, they're saying, look, I think we might have to slow this game down too now and uh, and, st and earn a little respect first, Minty, before they go wide. Yeah, well, they've, um, they've tried everything from inside their 22, and it hasn't worked so far. Melville have just shut them down. They... Like I said, they, they they need to work on gaining an ascendancy. And at the moment, the ascendancy is with the Melville forwards, although that one scrum turned back. But Green, throw last time wasn't straight. Who are we looking for? Probably the Arthur Pun. Oh, stolen. Look at that. Off the top. Nicked. And uh, it's called passing to somebody in a worse situation than yourself. Yeah. Ball's on the ground. Melville love uh, trying to contain it. Round the side comes... The Huskies, but Ash Gabby Sutherland lays it to ground. Puts it back nicely. Oh, spoony old pass out to the first receiver. Number five. Sonnery. Yeah, that's better by Rihanna Aspinall, I think. Uh, Stolen, turnover. Puffy L again, yeah. Minty. Yeah, the big number one just came and wrapped the paws across the ball. It's going to be penalty tied up by Melville. And Melbourne have to be careful here, Minty. That's probably four loud bars yeah. on the whistle now by Lee Jeffries. Four penalties in a row. Yeah, the first five went Melbourne's way. The next four have gone the Huskies' way. Are they going to? Are they going to take a shot at goal? Yeah, Leomi Klopp is to? saying, "Look, let's put put some points on the board. Let's take the three and just come down here and get some reward because we haven't been after 15 minutes. We haven't really been in the game. We've been been attending." Yeah, we have been, and I think too for Hamilton Old Boys, uh, I think they just need to uh, take stock here. Uh, they're going to probably have to change their game plan a wee bit because they're pl trying to play helter skelter rugby. And I'll give Melville their due, Minty. Their line speed has been very, very good yep. for this first fifteen minutes. Lila Edamaya, the number fifteen for Old Boys. It's um the passing too has been more spooning to each, spooning the mm. pass to each other rather than swift, swift, low run running ball. It's been a bit because the defences are up so quick, um, they're placing each other under more pressure. Adamia takes the three. Three all it is after 16 minutes here in Hamilton. I'll give them, you can hold that for a while, Fox. I got you get a sore arm. Um, sore arm, Fox. Yeah, well, let's uh, just put a little bit of spotlight on a few players for this first 15 or so minutes. I've been very impressed with number six for Hamilton, old boys, Noisha Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, she was a schoolgirl star at Hamilton Girls High. Had the pleasure of coaching her in 17 and 18 with a couple of tours to Japan. Uh, but she's really taken her rugby seriously again. Quite about it too, isn't she? Yeah, she's busy. Um, she's a very good six. And I um, Maddie Finch, the other six, who's yeah, a good footballer. Samantha Wood. Minty, she's been impressive early on with the kicking, hasn't That's she? A great kick That's a great kick down start. Liata Puni Leo with the carry. Another FPC player from last year. Yeah, look, she's just going to crash it straight up. The big number four. Puni just uh, heading forward. Vicky Rose Green with the first take. She makes the advantage line, puts the ball down, tries to pick it up and lay it back again. Got to her feet well, too. Allowed to do that. Cloppers. Looking for some gaps. Better passing from old boys, but again, under pressure. They've got it out to the wings. Here comes the breakout. No, good tackling. Melville put them on the ground. Good defence. Knock on as well. Yeah, if you, for our listeners and, and our watchers there, if you, you see that old boys are not permitting many players to the contact area because they're just going to keep on trying to go the same way and play around the corner game plan, as I call it, and they're going to try and find an edge. Um, I actually think they need to play a little bit more direct because they're not earning the right at the moment and they're making too many mistakes. We saw down in, um, where we last week, it was uh, down in Wood, the Tech... Melville game, we saw um, the cutback, you know, the cut. And it worked so well for Tech a couple of times, just on that straight cut. And they scored points from it. I think old boys need to do that cut. They need to, you know, um, Teddy Aho needs to run wide and we're looking for a cut coming back from maybe Princess Elliot or Kaleta Singh coming back on the big chop back and, and looking for a gap in that midfield of Melville. Minty, you couldn't have spoken truer words because you looked at Melville. Now, they will do that. 
Uh, I can't see them going to, uh, too wide too early here. They'll look to probably set a target in the midfield um, and then just wait for their forwards uh, to get there. And they maybe even then go back to uh, to where the ball came from and look to play pist pistons, as I call it, yeah. and have pods on, on either side of the ruck uh, because I want to slow this game down. And again, you can see how they're slowing it down. I actually think they've talked about this pre-game and this is clever. Uh, because they're slowing the game right down and they're not letting old boys get into the game and get any continuity. They're playing like Canterbury do, the masters of slowing the game down to get, get some ascendancy and some control back. Yeah, very much so. Uh, penalties conceded by four of them in the past. This old boys conceding five. A couple of turnovers each way. Um, I think Melville are leading 3-1 in the knock-ons. A percentage uh, regards to territory possessions about 70% on both in favour of Melville there. Yeah, Bevan Jenkins has just told us the Aminti 70%. So what that tells me, that they're hanging on to the ball well and recycling yeah. it better than old boys are at the moment. Yeah, old boys just haven't had the, the hands on the pill for long enough and basically as you, it treasured it. Yeah. At times, they're, they're giving it away and um, Melville are sort of playing in a catch-up situation, but it's, uh, it's going all right at the moment. Minty, too, what I've noticed is I remember the first time I commentated the uh, Melville Wild Boys game early in the year, they kicked the ball away a lot. 17, 18 minutes gone today, and they have not kicked the ball away, apart from that time when Samantha Wood kicked it out on the full. Yep. They're not giving it back to Wild Boys. They're hanging on to it and playing really clever and smart rugby. Yeah, they are. Last scrum, uh, Melville got monstered by this Huskies forward pack, and it's happening again now. Turnover and a tight head. Yeah. It's gone to ground. Are we going to reset it, or are we going to have a turnover here? Lee Jeffries, the referee. Hasn't signaled either way. I think she's going to reset the scrum. The uh, front row of uh, Fit the liner, Ricky Rose Green and uh, Mani Oporto really getting underneath Katapu Meyer and Aspinall. Well, you look across to that side and obviously Cheyenne Rihanna. They're both in the FPC side last year. They will not be enjoying this early on here. So let's see how the scrum goes. And it's, of course, you've got behind them uh, Leone Kloppers and uh, Leata Puni. Mm. Double big locks, you know, and, and, and that makes all the difference. You talk to a prop. It's not just about the strength of the prop. It's about the strength of the pack behind them and making sure that the sixes and sevens are also pushing in on the, on the prop's legs, making that scrum base really, really solid. So reset for Melville. They'll want this out real quick. They'll, they'll need to, yeah, it's out the back now. That's a better scrum for Melville. Running ball for them, though. Milo looking for a big, wide, swinging ball. Huskies' defence is right up there, and there's going to be a turnover. Hands on the ball, turned over beautifully. That's by number 12, Anna Masters. Just uh, perfect, perfect turnover. If you need to get one of those, that was it. Kennedy Simon, the number eight. First run she's had of the day. Puts her head down and uh, makes the advantage line. Cloppers, or to no one. Might be numbers, though. Can we put it on the cutback? That's not a bad kick into the sun, just saying. Taken nicely, too. Out into the 15 of uh, Tanui. Tackle defence from Huskies, though. Melville having to do some um, scratch defence and getting back on side. They're still short a few. Yeah, they went the wrong way there, Minty. But, uh, yeah, high tackle. He's high tackle, but uh, Melville, clever though. They yep. waited to their numbers to get back at, that, at the uh, collision area there and slowed it right down. And you watch again for our watchers and listeners here. Samantha Wood, she'll just slow it down. Good, solid halfback. You know, like she's got, uh, yeah, nice kick. Is it going to stay out? If it does so, nearly kept in by Kaleta Singh. Hopefully um, in Fiji, Julian Singh is up there working. Julio, if you're tuning in to watch this, a um, long time since we caught up, I hope you're well. So throw in to uh, Maya, the number two for old boy, uh, for Melville. Katapu is the number one. Sakalia the number four. Espinal three. Finch in the six. Nice off the top. Big long pass out to centre field into the hands of uh, Sanarive. Charges it straight up, makes the advantage line. Gabby Sutherland with a good pass outside to the six of uh, Finch. Melville with a bit of hand on ball. That's a whole lot better from them now. Now they put it out the back. Milo. Milo looking for some gaps outside in the third of Porama and Muki. Ball's there again for Melville. Good defence from the Huskies, though, Fox. They, they're shutting down any chance. We're going to get the penalty, not letting it go. Yeah, again, oh, Melville, quick take. I wouldn't expect a uh, quick tap, Minty. I wouldn't have expected that. Or I thought they might slow it down and kick for the corner, but uh, they've taken the quick tap. Uh, they're controlling this game very well at the moment, Melville. Yeah, they are, and uh, Wood digging in for the ball, and we're going to have another penalty. Look, um, tap, quick tap again, straight into the hands of Katapu. Katapu, oh, the big run. That's a monster of a run. Melville uh, charging in behind. There's, there's space out here to the left. 
inside to uh, Aspinall. Aspinall goes forward. Still this big wide width out here to the right. Gabby Sutherland getting in to help. We're going to have a try. And it's a great try to Melville. Eight points to three. Center Eve, the number five. That's a great try. Oh, Minty. That's, uh, that's just pressure and doing the basics well, Fox. Pick it up, make distance, lay it back. Pick it up, make distance, lay it back. And the Huskies had no answer to that. Melville have come today with a plan, Minty, and they're executing it really well. They're using their big forwards and um, keeping a roll on and keep getting them across to an advantage line. They're not going too wide. Uh, if you they'll probably hit 12 and 13 and then hit the contact area and then go again with their pod. So this is a great start by Melville. And uh, old boys look a bit rattled, Minty. Replay up here. So it's running. Through, yeah, it was just a great drive by the two props. They they got momentum. They got things going forward. Then um, Ryan Sinareeb just picked it up and just charged across. Here's the kick. It goes over. That's 10-3 Melville. And we've had 22 minutes. Big crowd on the far side. Look at Melville supporters. It's great to see people out supporting women's final here in, um, in Wakata Rugby. Yeah, there's uh, look, there's a few hundred people around here, Minty. This is fantastic for the game, isn't it? I'm getting excited about this. You look around here at Willoughby Park and there'll be a lot of supporters here of what we'll be saying. Right, this is the main game, Minty. We'll go off to the curtain raiser next uh, next door to FNG Stadium later on in the day. But what a great start by Melville. They're right in this game. Ten points to three. Yeah, they are. And uh, the 15, Adamaya kicks deep. Taken nicely. Melville have a... Picked themselves up a little bit here. They've got, got themselves on the wrong. Sa Sakalea um, has just decided that uh, we're going to run forward and put some pressure on them. The 15 back there for uh, old boys. Pressure Kanui. Yes, yeah, it's, it's total pressure. Yeah. Pressure. Gone out. pressure. Stepped out. That's just pressure. Yeah, it is just pressure, Monty. And, and, and old boys, like, again... We haven't really seen them at all play direct today. Um, they were trying to rush there and probably look to pass in the infield and have a crack. Uh, so they're just a little bit rattled at the moment. This is an yeah. impressive start by Melville. My the number two to throw for Melville. They've um, they've obviously got a game plan. Great take again off the top by by uh, Sakalea. Good running ball. Here we go out in the middle. This is the number five, the tribe scorer. Sanare, big game from her. Ryan Sanare so far. Ash Gabby Sutherland. She'll only go one way, and that's straight ahead. She makes good meters too, and the advantage line. Huskies over the top trying to um, interfere with the ball. Oh, the number four gets crashed. Klopp is making a big tackle there. Katapu, the ball's on the ground. Running ball for Melville. There's a, there's a gap out there if they can get wide. Shay Daly out wide. Number seven for... Uh, oh, look at Rihanna Aspinall to get around the corner. That's out. Straight by the big top. Oh, oh what a run, Minty. Stepped she, out. Oh, Minty, she came from the open side 20 metres wide and thought, right, give me the ball, please, Samantha Wood. I'm going to have a crack on the short side. What a run by the FPC prop there. Rolling Duplessis, the seven for the Huskies, having to get across. You having to do some hard yards, making some some decent tackles to drop them down and um, put them on their backsides. But uh, up they go, taken off the top. Fast ball straight off the top. Are we going to get the kick? Ooh. That was close to getting knocked down. Hasn't gone out. Bounces nicely for Melville. The 15 picks it up. Goes straight down the middle. Itamaya. Melville forwards get around and pile in behind. Gabby Sutherland with the pass. Milo, the 10. It's out wide here. We've got a space out on the corner. The 11. Shay Daly. Daly gets cut back in. Too much uh, Huskies defence there. Yeah, good cover tackle, Minty, by Anna Masters. Uh, she's ha having to work really hard. The 12 for Melville. Ash, Gabby Sutherland and Leone Klopper is just uh, crashing into each other every time Ash gets the ball. Leone Klopper steps in to uh, put her on her back and drop her down. Running ball again. There's a gap out there. It's wide. All the pass has gone to ground. Around a pyre. Turn over, Minty. Big turn over, too. I don't think they're going to muck around down here. They'll look to try and move the ball wide again. Huskies outside the 22. Melville trying to get across the top. But Supporters screaming for the turnover, but it's still there. Klopp was on the carry. Only knows one way, Mintz. Yeah, here in Ash, Gabby Sutherland, they, they just picked the ball up. You're guaranteed some metres when they pick the ball up. Opening up now a little bit. No, the gap Hamilton. was there. Who's the ball? 
Huskies, running ball. There's the scut. There's the cut option, Fox. Oh, good tackle there. On the reverse play as well. Gets it back. There's the pass for Singh. Singh the 14 on the cut. Looking for speed. Cuts through again. Great on the ground. Titiaho gets in there to help. Huskies arrive in numbers. Got numbers out wide here, Munch. Cloppers. Cloppers. Up the middle. Laid back nicely. Rangi Tamar with the halfback. Good footwork for Liana and Liata Puni Leo, Minty. Still running. Ooh. Hard, hard hit. Right on the ball. Let's stop the play going Ooh. forward. Still there. Cloppers getting in there and uh, cleaning out. Tafo for the layer. Princess Elliot says, I'm going to put that into the corner. Not quite going sure to beat if that was the right option, it's still in. But still in. And oh, and right. it's Gabby Sutton with the ball. So they've thrown it back in field. The only person there yeah. was Ash Gabby they Sutherland. They not respecting. Oh, that's, that's around, right. the, around the neck. Let's see what Lee Jeffrey so says we get there. The We're going to come She's back for... Come back. What are we looking for out here? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. No, She's going to come way Husky. to Husky's penalty, or she is. That's a long, long it's a, advantage. It's a really long you know, advantage. Yeah, long advantage. And I'll tell you what, normally you'd see the Huskies kick into the corner or tap and go. But um, look, saying, oh, yeah. shot goal. she's going to say here, I think we need to have a shot at goal here. Because Melbourne have come to play today, and it's very physical, Minty, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and um, it's not the game plan that uh, not the game plan that uh, Huskies would be wanting whatsoever. Fox, they want gap, they want width, they want to be able to run onto the ball. At the moment, they're getting shut down. Yeah, what? they are. They re they really are, Minty. That's a great kick Change by the Arnie there. Put it out. Klopp has asked for the shot at goal. So this and Samuel's overall there, I think. This shows you here, Minty. Old oh, boys are worried. Number 19, Ariana Baylor coming on. And there's only 28 minutes gone in the first half. So Ruben Samuel has already gone to his bench. He's going to his big guns early on. Yeah, he is. Um, talented, talented young footballer is uh, Baylor. She'll Straight just, away. She was giving confidence, Minty, just having her out there, to be fair. Bit of lager. The number one crashes straight up underneath the posts. Ball's there. Baylor feeds right on the inside. Back cut ball to Cloppers. Turn over. No, it's not. Been hooked back off the ground. Scrappy old rugby, but it's out. It's come out the side to Hamilton. Hamilton with the crash ball. Wakes it up. Good tackle from Meyer, the number two. Turnover to oh, Great work, oh, Minty. That was. That was great work oh, on the ground. She goes again, Riella Aspinall. Oh, Minty, how good has she been in this first half an hour of the game? She's just digging Melville out of trouble at the moment just by making metres. Just carrying, Minty, and carrying hard too, Minty. Yeah, Maya, the number two, does the same thing. Here we go. Samantha Wood. She's been impressive, this young lady, earlier on. Little half break there. Looks like we've lost up. Baylor already. Baylor's to the oh, ground. Looks right. like she's done, done something to her ankle and her knee. Yeah, that's so she's just come straight on. It looks like she's picked up an injury straight away. Yeah, on the ground. She's only just been come on getting help. Things. So we're going to go for the penalty. Hanging yeah. on. But we're going to stop for Ariana Baylor, who um, called a shot at goal. But she's across the far side, about the 22. Went straight to ground after uh, the wraparound play from that back of that ruck. And, of course, Leomi Klopp is slow getting to her feet and getting back as well. So we'll just see what happens from there. Oh, I think this time, Minty, she's going to probably learn from last time where they kicked it um, into the corner and um, they didn't recycle it as well as they probably should have done. And she said, Roto Alia, number 15, oh, I want you to take the points here. You know, we're just uh, just over nine minutes now to go before half time, And I think uh, let's try and close this gap, Minty, they're saying. Yeah, 10 three still for Melville. So um, it's not, not at all what... Um, not at all what um, the Huskies would be sort of surmising what's going to happen in this game. You know, they've, they've cleaned everything up this year by 20, 30 points at times. Yeah, Minty, I think what this is going to really challenge their structures and their patterns because uh, Melville are turning this game into an absolute arm wrestle, aren't they? So they're going to say, oh, boys, you're going to have to get the ball of us because we're not going to give it to you. No, no, they're not. They're not giving anything away whatsoever. 
shot at goal is going to miss. So it's away to the side, just hooked. As Fox would say, we dropped our shoulder, we lost our focus on the ball, and we pulled it to the left. Yeah. We're getting something from Yeah, you. yeah she did it, mate. And, and there's a couple of things there, really, is that, uh, you know, instead of kicking through the ball, um, she sort of just blocked it, as I call it, and she dropped the left arm, and the ball will always go to the left-hand side if you don't uh, lock that shoulder in. So, uh, Melville. Nearly 32 minutes gone here in the first half, Minty. 10 points to three. Not many would have picked this. They're right in this game. They're 100% right in this game. Kick off. Straight to Roland Duplessis. Duplessis running. Gets out of one tackle. Gets out of two. She's got no one with her, though. Oh, Matty Finch. Oh, Matty Finch, Minty. Stolen by Matty Finch. The six for Melville. What a great tackle steal. Melville with the ball now. Look out. Oh. Kennedy Simon with the big rush defense yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rihanna Aspinall says, I don't care who you are. You might be the Black Ferns captain, but get out of my way. 100%. And uh, Melville just taking the ball in hand and, and rolling up the middle of the paddock. We're going to go back for the penalty to Melville. Oh, they're right in this game, Mincy, and they know it. Look at Rihanna Aspinall clapping her hands and encouraging her teammates. And she is just saying, give me that rugby union ball, and I'm going to get you across the advantage line every time. Yeah, she's just going to make meters for you, and that's that's about all you can ask for. That's going to come down and nearly clout the CEO of Waikato Rugby, Carl Moon. Didn't move, didn't flinch, didn't flinch at all. No, he, he didn't, did he? He didn't flinch. Yeah, he's not moving anywhere. I think he's a bit uh, yeah. worried about getting his uh, flash-looking flash shoes flash a bit uh, dirty in the mud, the front, I think. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't want that, does he? He doesn't want that at all. Um, Minty, good kick there by Samantha Wood. She's been good, hasn't she? The number nine. There she is again. Oh, oh, wait right on. I think we'll get the penalty. Yeah, pushing, pushing her. Back. Yep. And you watch this, Minty. They're just going to say, let's just yeah. slow it down. Very clever. Like, as Gabby said, yeah. see what they're doing. They're saying, yeah. we're going to bring this game back to our speed. That's what she's doing. We want it to be slow and steady and just keep um, the Huskies on their back foot. Yep. Great kick, too, and down look, the line, too. So, uh, Joel, not gonna run to no, if you look at this, Joel Scalander, he's magnificent, isn't he, he's on that camera nice. work, Joel Scalander. For a short flight, but a short look flight. at them, they're just going to walk there. They're going to say, oh, boys, um, you're going to have to play at our pace today, That's Graham called, and Timmy. That's called idling to the line out. It is. It's clever. Melville playing the right game plan at the moment, just stopping the Huskies from getting into their game plan. Up and over the top. Has the top it goes from Finch. Good take. Press of Minty, hasn't she? Maddie she Finch. has. Oh, I really like the center eve, the number five for yes. Melville. They've been aggressive. Ooh, what happened there? Off your feet, maybe? Well, on the angle from the side, I think, is the is the call. Coming from the side. But uh, Maddie Finch, number six. Great, great battle going on, Nisha Hamilton. Yeah. Aren't they 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 get asking for nothing, giving nothing. Yep. Well, Noisha Hamilton has been one of old boys' best. She's had to work really hard because she's having to make a lot of tackles in number six. But Maddie Finch, she's been very impressive, her opposite. Yep, they have straight up the middle go the Huskies. The first time they've really done fast ball. Bailey's got over, has picked herself up from, oh, that's a shocking pass going backwards. Knock backwards, so allowed to play on now. We're going to be offside. Yeah, Melbourne, Lee Jeffries. But, ag defense, eh? but again, Minty, um, Melville know what they're going to do. So the Melville know that old boys aren't going to come back. They know that old boys are going to play around the corner and try and find an edge. So they're busting backside and getting around the corner themselves defensively. And, and, old boys are just very easy to read at the moment. The, the, and what you're saying is they need to pocket to pocket or side yep, to side. They need they, to slow it down, Minty. They really yep. need to go wing to wing. Watch this again. They'll go wide. They'll find an edge. And that... Oh. Kennedy Simon, Black Ferns captain, good carry. But the, and she goes again. Give me the ball, she's saying. Rihanna Aspinall again, though, Minty. There she is. Gonna go Lee back. Jeffries. I tell you what, that penalty count earlier on, Melville, yeah, it has now. Old boys uh, have had several penalties in a row here. Nine each. Nine each. There we go. So, uh, nine penalties each. Let's turn right around. Uh, after what she hurt, twisting that ankle or hitting she's that leg. She's still got a bit of a hobble, but uh, yep. staying out there. 35 minutes gone, and Melville will not want to concede any points before half time. If Minty. Sorry, the fullback for uh, the Huskies. Kicks well, Minty, doesn't she? As I said, new to the yep. game, ex football player. A lot, of, a lot of football players are very good, obviously, when it comes to the kicking game. Nicky Rose Green with the throw. It's better. Simon off the top. Baylor. Big long pass to Duplessis. Duplessis. Gets put on the ground. That's good tackling. Gabby's, yeah, it is Gabby's good Gabby's tackling. Gets dragged gonna... out of the turnover. Again. Yahoo with the run, but yeah. uh, defence coming across. Maddie Finch, the six, getting across there and uh, 
trying to hold her up. Pass, pass. Huskies are looking again. Cloppers. Just keep coming. Goes forward. They uh, oh, again, pressure. just not accurate with no. their passing at the moment. The Huskies, it's called what they call desperation grab going on. Huskies up and over the oh, 22. Oh, Rihanna Aspinall holding her up. Oh, nice work by the two-mint. Yeah, great work over. by the number two. Maya, great turnover from uh, Melville. She's lost Turned back over, though. Well, so it's right. turnover, turnover. It's advantage now to the Huskies. They're not going to let go. Yeah, this will be interesting to see here, Minty. Three, three minutes. Oh, no. I thought they might take the shot of goal. Looking for the opening. Tuffy L. How good has she been by Graham Minty Mead? Tuffy L. Fitalaya. Yeah. Just absolutely superb. Baylor with the quick tap. And uh, there was no way they were going to stop Tuffy L. She just uh, aimed at the, the try line underneath the post. The kick to come. All tied up just about right on half time. That's the first time that we've seen old boys ball in hand and actually running straight. Let me yep. talk about they're not running straight enough, Fox. They're running right. across the field. You run straight, you get gaps. Yeah, they're running too lateral. And and you saw that off the, off the line out there where Rolling Duplessis, which she was easily picked up. The yep. only one who's been very good with the ball in hand has been Tuffy L. And Tuffy L, she's been playing very, very direct and getting her team across the advantage line. So uh, Melville will be disappointed to concede this just before half time, to be yep. fair. Ties it all up at 10 all. Um, which I suppose, given the amount of possession that old boys have had or the Huskies have had in their half. Yep. yep. Agreed. Melville will be disappointed with that, Minty. But yep. they've got to continue to just hang on to the ball and, as I said, slow the game right down and play direct because old boys have just got too much class out there. Um, but as we've talked about, when they have played a bit more direct, because to, to me they've been playing far too lateral, Minty, earlier on. Yeah, they have. And um, it's been across the paddock, not up the paddock. And you need you need to be going up. You, know, you need to be going straight and direct. And that's where you'll get the step from some of these younger, younger probably more nimble Mm. Huskies backs, they'll step some of the Melville forwards or backs if they run straight. Singh gives the ball inside. Unusual for the number five of uh, Matty Finch from Melbourne to um, miss a tackle there. Yeah, good strong run by Liata Puni Leo Minty. She's um, a very good footballer and she can play just as well at, on, in the back row as well, but very, very good on it with the feet, uh, her feet work, Minty. Quick by Baylor again. They're wanting to speed the ball up, and they are. Sing on the wing. Picks it in the field. Taken beautifully at the back by Edemeyer. Edemeyer running. Oh, it's going to high drop ball. It's gone backwards, though. Picked up by the 14. Brianna Pyre. She gets back there. That was great pick up from uh, Edemeyer. But Melville, just a pass didn't go to hand. It's been turned over. It's been turned over, Matee. Kennedy Simon, oh, the oh, Kennedy yeah. Simon and another Kennedy thing. Road. And another big Ooh, thing. Oh, Rihanna Aspinall says, I'll have you, though. Baylor. Cloppers. Cloppers will only run. Yeah. This she is, won't pass. This is the old boys <laughs> we know now, Minty. <laughs> Their pass. Cloppers won't pass. Over the top oh, to go turnover. They needed that, Melville, because old, yeah, old boys are now starting to lift the tempo, and it's suiting them. But Melville, now you watch this. They'll that slow the, this down. That was uh, Ryan's center eve again, that number five getting across the top of the field. Yeah. Been she's impressive, Minty, hasn't she? Having a big game. She's only young. I went and uh, talked to just before the game um, about just it was, it was Ryan or Rian. She starts Ryan, and um, she's only young. She's only youngster, Fox. But wow, yeah, she's had a really impressive first half. But here we go again, Minty, as Joel Scalander is doing some magnificent camera work and catching these Melville Ford saying, "We'll just slow it right down again as we come to the set piece." Yeah. So I think um, Ruben Samuels, the coach of the Huskies, will be saying, hey, we need to, what do we need to do? We've got a, we've got a bench. We've got the likes of Soraya Bada on there, Renee Holmes, Esther as well. So there's a few reserves I've got floating around that, that um, can come out who've got some experience. But, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a busy old contest between these two sides. Really good of a final. The Melville backs um, are creeping up almost offside as well. Running ball, Duke Lasiga tries to get out there to the tackle. Take it into midfield. Duplessis trying to cover. Shay Daly. Good tackle by Kalira Singh on the, yeah. uh, the the larger athlete. Ten cuts back nice with Milo. Milo with a good step too. Makes the advantage line. Bulls popped out the back. Huskies try to drive over the top. Knock on. Lee Jeffrey says. Unlucky. 
And yeah, half time. that is half time here Ten all, Fox. at Willoughby Ten all. Park. Who would have picked that great minty meat? This is what we asked for, though, isn't it? We wanted a good game of footy, and I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a magnificent game of rugby here. As the music is getting played at FMG Stadium behind us with uh, the big game this afternoon between the Chiefs and the Queensland Reds, what we are also calling Minty a wee bit later on, if I've got some voice left. Yeah, we'll You're a bit more know. used to this than me. <laughs> you reckon? We've already done a radio show this morning, Fox. You might as well carry on for the rest of the night. Um, Ruben Samuels is going to be saying to his players, look, this isn't us. This is how we played a whole season. I know it's finals footing and there's, everything changes when you get to that, but Melville aren't allowing the Huskies, Hamilton Old Boys Huskies, to play the game they normally play. They're shutting down those gaps. They're being very, very lateral in what they're doing. So, yeah, look, it's line breaks being three to Old Boys, turnovers, five each. Penalties, um, 10 and 11. Territory, 41-59. Melville had the better of that possession. Melville have had the better of possession. But, again, you would expect that yeah, you know, Old Boys this year have just been absolutely hammering everything, eh? They've, yep. they've, been, they've been able to, to make breaks, yep. but now they're just a spoon passing and they're just too lateral for us. They need yep. to straighten the life up. They do, Minty. They do need to play more direct because they're not changing their game plan. And look, it, it is only, there's still 40 minutes to go and they could break this game open, but they're continuing to play around the corner. They're continuing to run a little bit too lateral for my liking and then they continue to find an edge where Melville, they're hanging on to the ball. 65% Minty at the moment in the favour of Melville. And the coach TK Mawicki will be saying, girls, this is good. This is good. You need to continue to slow the collision area down. You need to continue to hang on to the ball. Don't kick it away, Minty. Hang on to it, that we, uh, TK Mawicki will be saying. And um, I'm really hoping, Minty, that this game continues to stay close because it's a great shot window for women's rugby, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And look, of course... Um... Tomorrow, the uh, Waikato FPC side, the, the, the wider squad gets named. Um, yeah, 145 players, Minty. No, sorry, 45 players I hear they're naming tomorrow. Yeah, look, it's um, it's about giving opportunities to players to see how they're going. So 45 tomorrow. Good to see a lot of the um, old boys seen this floating around here too. They've got a week off this week, haven't they, Fox? Yes, they are. They're on a bye with them. Yeah, the old boys week. have got the boy, Minty. Uh, impressive uh, victory by the uh, the men's creams last week over the uh, the Vatican over Marist. Um, to be honest with you, Marist have been tracking very well this year, and that sort of uh, broken that competition wide open. Uh, but there's uh, some good games of footy out there today in the in the, in the men's premiership. Uh, the Tiamatu Sports, the principality of our country, taking on Hartapu, their uh, Waipa neighbours. That'll be a beauty, Minty. Yeah, look, it will be. There's um, some great footy being played everywhere at the moment. And of course, um, yeah, it's it's about where it's going, where it's going to finish up. There could be any one or a number of these players named in that wider trading squad tomorrow. Number six is going to be a battle. Of course, when you've got the rock star Black Ferns, if you name the FBC squad, how how much time are they going to spend with an FBC squad? Yeah, I think they'll probably look to uh, name a wider squad um, with them, to be honest with you, Minty. I think they'll name a squad and then have the Black Ferns because they Black Ferns will no doubt come in and they'll come out. Um, of the competition, but uh, you know, you look out there for that first half today here uh, at uh, Willoughby Park, and isn't it fantastic? The sun on our back, Minty. Uh, there's a really good crowd in here. Uh, there's parochial supporters on this side. There's old boys on the other side. There's the, <laughs> the Melville Mafia, and they were right into this game. Well, they travel with your team. We oh, they they they're it. just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I, uh, I'd imagine Billy Hogg will be over the other side there and he will be uh, giving plenty of advice to uh, his uh, his beloved Melville side. But so I'm quite impressed the fact we've gone a whole half of rugby without talking about anything but rugby. Talk yeah, about... we have. <laughs> we have. <laughs> we have. We've, we've, we've talked about rugby stuff. union. We're talking about rugby union, Minty. But uh, look, I just want to put a little bit of spot, spotlight on. Let's just talk uh, uh, about this Melville side. Uh, Rihanna Aspinall, she's been sensational in the first just, half. How many carries, Ah, oh, She's just picking the ball up. She, but the, not only the carries, Fox, not the carries, it's the fact she's making the advantage line. She's going over the advantage line. She's giving the, the, the following Melville forwards some mm. front foot ball. Yeah, they, they're actually to roll old boys out of the road. So they yep. we'll just see what's and, happening. Yeah, Minty, these, but yeah they're, they're not mucking around. They're putting their big guns on. 
Esther Tello is uh, on the uh, newly, newly named Black Fern, and how fantastic it is for that young lady. So she's and, replaced Bailey Mania Porto, the number yeah, three. And Renee Holmes is on as well. So Ruben Samuel, he's not mucking around here. No, he's gone been straight been to his bench. He's look, going, come on, Black Ferns, you are here to do a job for me. Well, no, look, and they're on the field now. Liberal, his hair's falling out, so he's wearing a hat. So he's just, you know, it's, he's, he's not saying much at the moment, but the pressure's on. He. He wants their side to be more direct, and yeah. I think that's what he would have been saying. The Melville coach would be saying, "Just keep doing what you're doing." We're oh, yeah. needing them out of the way, yeah. And that and that's a great way to be running through as well. Yeah, the challenge will be now, Amanti. Can Melville? Can they stay in it? Can they sustain what they've yeah. done for forty? Can years? they stay in it for firstly the first twenty? They'll be looking at this first twenty, and hopefully they can stay in this game. So knocked on, not, not quite taken. So it was uh, knocked on as Melbourne went to take it. Um, Kendi Simon come up, made the tackle. It bounced into her arm and she knocked it forward as well. So straight away we've gone to uh, a scrum for the Huskies. Just yep. not taking the ball from the kickoff. And... First scrum here. This will be a beauty, Minty. Stream. Right. No, the stream's going. Just go with video. Video? Oh, so this... No video. No video. Well, that's probably not a bad thing, Minty. They don't get to see you and me. Um, but they are missing out on the game. But we'll continue the commentary. Uh, it's a scrum um, on the Melville side of halfway, midway, 22 and 10 metre line. Baylor. Scrum going. So we got live back. Nice. Um, penalty against um, the yeah, boys front yeah. row. Esther, Esther Tilo. Esther uh, looking a bit bewildered there. Uh, the newly named Blackfern. Fantastic young lady, Esther is. Minty got a tremendous amount of time for her. Just such a, a good person. Well, she plays prop and lock, doesn't she? Mm. He's um, sort of specialised into more prop now, but she does play both. And yeah. Pretty she well. I think, Minty, to be fair, like, uh, as a lock, uh, they don't tend to lift her, so she's decided she's going to specialise herself as a prop. Uh, her carrying with the rugby union ball is outstanding. We all know that. And obviously, her set piece has improved under the watch wires. Willie Walker this year up at the Blues. Um, Melville, line out. Maddie Finch again, Mint. Yeah, off the, off top. the top. Double catch from the big number. Oh, hasn't she been good? Three, mate. I just like the way she's aggressively taking the ball forward. Gabby yeah. Sutherland, just the yeah. Sash, Gabby Sutherland. Yeah, she's, she's, she's got a mate now. In yeah, Reeve who's, uh, has she what? Stuck in has the she point. what? She's been impressive, that young lady. Melville, slow it down. Riala Aspinall just says, give me the ball here. I'm going to get you across the advantage line, my Ford pack. Gabby Sutherland, out wide. Does the dummy, puts the ball yeah, Need the... support, need support. Yeah, does support well too. Wraparound ball coming Harry, from Harry, uh, Harry. 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 inside cut, though. Oh. Maliki, 12, puts it on the ground. Yeah. Samantha Wood to the left. Inside ball. That's four. Yeah, that's Took good, Minty. Up. That's good. Well, good work there. Off her feet, though. Off her feet. Yeah. Take it on. What Melville's got to do here, Minty, is not getting dragged into the way Hamilton Old Boys are playing. They're going to continue to play their game, slow it down. I think Ash Gabby Sutherland's going to say here, Samantha Wood, I think we should take the points here and see if we can get back in front. Yeah, I think it's, uh, Melville, the, this is finals football, and it's the same as what's happening tonight with this, this quarterfinal for the Chiefs. You, we see it all year. They yeah. say, hey, we're going to kick to the corner and have a go and there's points on offer. I'm, I'm a big believer in finals footy is if there's points there, you try and take it. Yeah, penalty, 100%. I, I'd, you'd rather win a game by six penalties to nothing than score no tries. Let's be honest, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, we, we've had to go at three tries to the corner with kicks out. We haven't made it at all. And I'd, I'd much rather I'd much rather win on penalties than not win. Minty, a drop kick with two minutes to go rather than the paper tomorrow. Yeah, okay. No, you drop kick with two <laughs> minutes to go rather than the paper. It doesn't have to be a flash try. All it needs to be is a win. Yeah, you did right. Now, how good is this young lady today? I haven't, uh, I don't know a lot about this young lady, to be fair. She's uh, she's very new to this Melville team. I can't remember her playing last year, Samantha Wood. But as I said earlier, pre-game, she spent most of her week down here practicing what she's doing right now. Let's have a look at her technique, Graham and T-Beat. Yep. Steps back. Eye on the ball. Going to just swing. Arm just down. Okay, left arm dragged it down. Oh, running ball. Look at this. Oh, Princess Elliot. Bit of a story about Prince. Oh, that's a great tackle there. Who was that, Minty? I don't know, but it's the. Can you break two of my ribs? Oh, number 11, I think, Shay Daly. 
Oh, there's Esther Tilo. Yeah, yeah, that's what she'll do, Minty. She's very strongly. Renee Holmes. She'll kick the ball right down the middle. Yeah. Beautifully taken. Leela. Leela and my... Oh, Leela, I would have... I'm not sure I would have... No, because no. Teammates are off in front. She's got to get up here. The numbers out here. Offside. The problem is all the Melbourne players are offside. They're in front of uh, Iramaya. But Iramaya kicked it, so this is what I'm a bit confused about here. They because... didn't retire, they okay. They stood no. there. got to make an attempt to retire. She certainly did just try to there. get them on five. Just, just standing there doesn't make the difference. You've got to turn around and make an effort to get back on side. Yeah, so here we go. Hamilton, old boys. <sighs> That's harsh uh, for me, isn't it? No, it's not. It's got, you're, they've you're got right to try though. and get back on side. You can't just stand there and hope that the person coming through is going to put you on side. You've got to turn and make an effort yep. to retire. Yeah, no, you're 100% right in the rule book there. I thought Leela tried very, very hard to get her side on, on um, to get her team on side, uh, but she couldn't, unfortunately. I probably wouldn't have kicked there, though, Minty, no. in that position. I would have hung on to the ball because it's it's worked for them all day. And as I talked about, they don't want to kick it to this uh, to this talented old boys back three, especially with Renee Holmes here at the moment. Yeah, and of course, uh, straight off the top, Baylor, big pass, Esther on the run. Makes the halfway line. Oh, good counter ruck one of five. Again. Ryan Santa Reeve. There we go. Get on she? here. Get on here. Going to be oh, another turnover yeah, back. Yeah, turnover it's though. Not too far away. There's numbers here, man. They've got to spin it though. They've got to let it go. Wrong decision to come back inside. Tight. You know, she makes the ground. The decision should have been to go left, Fox. There's big, big gaps out here to the uh, left. Clopples through the middle. Tackle. Get some help from Baylor. Esther again. She won't pass Minty. No, Esther doesn't know how to pass just yet. She'll go forward and make a make the line. Baylor looking outside, looking for more help. Puni with the ball. Oh, Ash Gabby Sutherland having a crack at the football there. Nearly nailed it too. Titiaho, the number 10, puts a little kick through. Good. Cleaned up Ooh. nicely. Ooh. Good We're cover. Going to come back. Yep. Penalty for the offside, I think. No, hanging on, not releasing. Been very physical, eh? They just Melville are still just knocking old boys off their game. They're, they're not allowing them to play the game that we've seen where they've been 70, 80 points up. And I, I think old boys are struggling under pressure. They haven't been under pressure this whole season. Well, it tells you right here, Minty, that we've got a game of rugby union on our hands when Renee Holmes decides to point to the goalposts um, on the 10 metre line. We all know that she's a fantastic kicker, comes from a football background as well. Uh, but this is, uh, you would not normally see an old boys team do this. They would normally kick to the touch line. Yeah, the problem is, Fox, yeah. old boys haven't been under pressure all season. When was the last time they were placed under pressure? And in the whole season, they've, they've been running away by a lot of points. They have been. Yep. And, and Melville are not letting them play their game plan. Their, no. their game plan was to run away, sort of, and get away and just keep going. Well, Melville are right in this game. It's 10 all. And this is a big kick from Holmes. It's the first time, if it goes over, that old boys will be in the lead. It's a great kick too, Mint. It's going to be a little bit to the right. Oh, they're going to run it out. Leela Ramoy says, I'm going to take I'm going to take you on. Melville, well, are they going to get enough forwards that they have? They've yeah. managed to keep it up. Yeah. Gonna... Jeez, she made some carries today. Oh, that's her mate. That's Shy Cheyenne there, Minty. Typhoon. But this is what... That's, yeah, that's it's kicking away position. Holmes is going to have got that. Look out. Um, Melbourne, Here comes your Black Ferns fullback. Yeah. Look at that for a pass. Yeah, so you didn't, we'll pass. Now we're in trouble. It's just open the world up. Pass now. Too late. Yeah. Missed the chance to throw the ball. The 11. Shay Daly was waiting. Duplessis, the 7. Yeah, too, too lateral again, though, by uh, Rolene. You know, they're passing laterally, Fox. They're not running onto the ball looking for a gap. See, again, they're looking. Vicky Rose Green yeah, straight. She only knows one way, and she'll straighten it up. But again, just laterally looking. Gabby Sutherland, Titiaho oh, there. That's a little knock on there. The league Jeffrey says you are offside, Side. Melville. You are really offside. pushing hard on the uh, the offside lines. Yeah, they are. Both teams are uh, pushing hard. Going to be a tap and go. Tiz, Cloppers, the number five, the captain. Give it to Vicky, Vicky Rose, Rose Green, Green, the number two. Just running straight. Tuffy, how, how good has she been today, Minty? With yeah. Bethany, and she's outstanding. She's had one try already. She's got knocked back by some good Melville defence. We've got a turnover. We, we have indeed. Turnover. Now, hang on to the ball here, Melville. Stolen. If, you, if you're going to kick it, kick it out. Oh, they've kicked Kick it, down it the straight middle. down the middle. Yeah. It's got a good bounce, have to though. Get a good defensive line on that, on that far side, though. Renee's going to have a look, and she knows his holes. Straight away, she looks up, and she sees, right, I've got holes here. And I've got forwards on backs. Oh, defence. Tackle. Shea Dangley. 
take that. Yeah, that's a great bit of work that's by Shay Shay Daly. If that ball had gone to hands, you know, Melbourne were in trouble because there was a, there was an overlap out yep. there. But um, Shay Daly just came up and shut it down. Big, big hit. Yeah, there was certainly um, there was a gap there on that blind side. And Renee Holmes, being the talented football she is, she identified that early. Uh, Shay Daly needed to make that tackle, and he did. So Holmes, she's a great reader of the game. Yeah, so watch this, Swinty. Yep, looks up, has a look. And Man. Shay Daly, outstanding by that young lady. She needed to make that tackle, though, Minty. There's a two-on-one. Yep. Just a great read. And, um, again, it, it's just sides playing different forms of rugby. Melville probably have come with a game plan they've stuck to. And old boys wouldn't have expected this level of, of, of commitment. That's, we're 50 minutes in, and it's still 10 all. And the scrums have gone down. So, yeah, it's a physical. The, the bench is up. You know, both coaches will be sort of saying, hey, what, what's the go oh, here? Well, you look at it right now, Minty, and, and out of the uh, six front rowers, you've got five FPC players here. So it's going to be very, very willing. Okay, so we've got injury down. So injury break down here. So it's 10 all. And it has been a couple of great tries. And again, um, tight, tough Tiffy out. It's got a great oh, try for Rob. How good has she been? Just just before half time yeah, to try it up. But she has been uh, outstanding. Santa Reeve, Ryan Santa Reeve, the number five for Melbourne. Where she's come from, I don't know, Fox, but um, talk about committed, eh? Just really, really tough and strong going forward. That's it. Yeah, well, if you look at that, Minty, now, um, and you look at the position, and it's uh, changed a little bit there, but uh, Melville still have 60% of the position. Um, and then you come down, Minty, to turnovers. It's pretty even there. Seven yep. to Old Boys and six to Melville. Penalties conceded. 26 penalties, Minty, so far yeah, in this one. That's a few too many. That's um, Esther down as well. That looks like a leg. In yeah, that's really concerning. As I said, your newly named Black Fern. Was it Esther or was it Tuffy L? It's Tuffy L. Tuffy L. Yeah, Tuffy L. And she's been very good, Minty. Oh, I'd be sad to see her go off. I've been very impressed with this young lady today, the way she's carried the ball. They've been aggressive. Like the front rows have really had a crack at each other. Right? It's been all on or nothing. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the crowd is, this crowd today has attracted all sorts of people. Yeah, well, they let anyone in. They do. Look at the the CEO of the Chiefs down in front of us, yeah, Simon Graffius. Free entry. Yes. Yeah, I know, but, you know, it's yeah, good to see him here. He's probably thinking, Foxy, I've come to the main game, Foxy, the main know. game, and then I'm going to go, and then I'm going to go across to the uh, the curtain raiser across the DPMG Stadium afterwards. He didn't bring us a beer for Oh, yeah, I know. I'm very disappointed, disappointed with him. I'll tell you what. On radio tonight. I'll tell you what, though, I could probably do with his hat right now because I didn't, I packed my things today, but I didn't pack any sun lotion. I can give you the yeah, tip. Not my hat. No, <laughs> my hat uh, too. well, we won't need that uh, hats later on, Minty, when we're upstairs commentating okay. uh, the Chiefs to Queensland I game. I wonder if Simon will come up when we're uh, commentating. Yeah, actually, he would make a tonight. he would make a great experts comment. Run from old boys. Yeah. Oh. Like the threw it up. Oh. The Huskies destroyed the scrum and Melbourne yep. got the penalty. Interesting look on there. Dino Herrini down in front of us there, the uh, the, uh, the Huskies forward coach. Uh, we all remember Dino and his brother Phil. They used to be the two bookends for the Hartapu team back in the early 90s, late Are you 80s. Are he's a bookend? Well, hey, Dino, he called you a bookend. <laughs> just, a, just a phase for a front row, oh, Minty. Okay. Minty. All right, I'll take that. You've got to have a bookend right. on a front row. Here we go. Melville. John Ryan's one of those, isn't he? Yeah, well, isn't, he, a isn't he good, the Irishman? He's outstanding, the Irishman. Big Johnny Ryan. He'll be good tonight. Melville, been none. Targeting him. Oh. Clear every time. Right. Just, you watch that scare Billy Sutherland here. She might say to Samantha Wood. Nah. Wimps she might, a, yeah. From our right shoulder, Fox, so it's going to be. Yeah, she's no, she's good. decided not this time around. Just Samantha, can you just find me the touch, she says. And how good is number nine being Minty? That's another magnificent kick by That's Samantha Wood. A, it just puts your team, it lifts your team. You've yeah. made mileage for it. It's still 10 all. We've got 30 minutes of the game left. And um, it's, it's a 10 all game. Oh, I'm loving this, Minty. Yeah. Yeah, you know I love my rugby union, but this is a great game of footy here. That Willoughby Park. Straight away, hitting the number yeah. four again. She's just been superb. Yeah, Ruben Samuels looking a bit nervous down in front of us. It's a knock Ooh. Yep. 63,000 referees on the sideline screen. Yep. yep, I've got plenty of whistles up in my pocket here if they want to uh, take uh, a bit shorter ref referees here in the Waikato. So uh, we're going to do with a few more. Yep. 
You can uh, come and help us out. Sign them up, Fox. Yes, Carl Moon moved. Has Carl, Moon. Has Carl Moon moved yet? I don't think he no, has. He's moved. He's he doesn't want to get those, get dirt on those flat shoes, shoes of his. He doesn't want to get any mud on them, does he? No. Uh, no. Tell you what, it'll be sweating in that blazer, though. It's a bit yeah. hot here this afternoon. You're uh, right there, Carl. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, he's... Uh, He's, he's loving this game, though, isn't he, Minty? He's loving this close game of rugby union here at Willoughby Park. So it's going to be Baylor. Puts the ball in for the Huskies. Defensive scrum. She's got the run. Simon off the back. Makes some mileage. Oh, oh, Gabby Sutherland oh, gets the big, don't argue. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon. Blackburn captain. And Great feeds run. off. Moisha Hamilton, how good has she been yep. this afternoon? Great support. We're going to come back. Yeah, the lead Jeffries. The old penalty count. I think old boys might be winning that now. But there's been a lot of them. I'd imagine that's 30 of them now. Yeah, it'd be up to 30 penalties. And I'm not sure what that was for, for the hanging yeah. on or, or high or... Yeah. Big thank you, Joel Scalander. What a great job Jolie does, yeah, Minty. Right. I'll tell you what, he does you're a great right. job on the quiet. camera. Maybe a bit of noise, Adam. Joel, you right there? There's you're no right other, there, Jolie. There's no other games for you to report on. Jolie, you must be loving this, though. Yeah. I always love a close game. Yeah, so do I. This is fantastic. I don't want, I don't want anyone getting embarrassed on the live stream. Fox, are we allowed a beer before we go upstairs tonight? I'll tell you what, though, Minty, it is very warm today, and we look around Willoughby Park, and we have a great game of footy. That's not That's straight. not straight. No, that is not straight. Because you've, you've got the problem with um, Celia Sakalia. Um, for Melville, the number four, it's going up and contesting. Yep. She's been great at taking her own throws, but she's going up and contesting the Husky throw, hmm. which is putting them under pressure. So what they're doing is they're throwing a little bit down their own line to ensure they're getting the pill. Yeah, just a bit of spotlight to on the officials today. It's great to see Lee Jeffries out there. And on the side, this side here, we've got Caitlin Bates. So Caitlin plays normally for Pateru. She uh, represented the uh, New Zealand Harlequins early in the year when we played the Northland 15 Minty. You remember Caitlin? And uh, she's got a scholarship as a referee. So it's great to see Caitlin out there um, giving back to the game she loves as a touch judge. Melville just getting a money ball with Sakalera every time. Oh, Woods. Yeah, breaks through. There's, they've just playing bit a clever game low, at the bit moment. Bit no, just, no yeah. way through that. The Huskies' defence yeah. is just a big line coming yeah. up. Just slow it Mel down, Melville, here. Slow it down. I wouldn't kick, but I think they're going to. This is the concern to me now. They're starting to look to kick the ball away. Now, I wouldn't do this, because if you look at this back three, Mindy, Clara Singh. Going to come back for penalty. Yeah. Offside. I think that's worked to, worked to their advantage there, Melville, because they're starting to change their game plan. They're starting to kick it away. For me, I'd hang on to it. We're at the stage now, though, where both sides should realise that Lee Jeffries is being really tough on the offside lines. Mm, and yes. She's going to have a talk now. Oh, here we go. Both, and she's going to say to both sides, look, you've just got to understand I'm not going to tolerate you being offside. Yeah, if you're going to stay offside, I'm going to start putting players away. So, Leomi Coffers and Ashgabby Sutherland both getting a talk. Yeah. This is because of the offside. I wonder points. if Caitlin Bates can um, yell out to us because she's wired up and tell us what uh, the referee's saying, but she's not looking up at us, is yeah, she? Yeah, she can't hear us, Fox. No, she's she isn't. She's fully concentrating on what she's supposed to do as an assistant referee, yeah. not giving you information from the referee. Now, there's two things she could be saying, Joel Scalander. She could be saying, look, there's too many penalties, or there's she's getting a lot of advice, <laughs> and she could be getting a lot of advice out there as well. Well, there's Kimmy Fox. Yeah, Kim Fox. Whole family's here today, Fox. Yeah, well, it's a foxathon. I tell you what, though, the, they've got to love rugby union. The foxes yeah. have got no <laughs> choice given your man, they, Dave. If they want to come and hang out with the old man, they've got to come to rugby union, Minty, because uh, he loves it. Ten all, fifty-five minutes gone. Everything's pretty even on the yep. on the paddock at the moment. It's, uh, Samantha Wood been been impressed with him. Yeah, yeah, I've really liked her, Minty. Physical, you know, yeah, he's got physical. a size of tall, tall young lady it, and quite physical. It's a good challenge here, though, for her. it's mid midway. In the middle of the paddock, but she look at that kick, Minty. She hasn't missed one all day. Yeah. I've been very impressed with her kicking. You've got to make sure it goes out. Yeah. That's the main thing you want to aim for. Keeps her head down really well. Transfer her body weight um, very, very well through the kick. So, Melville, every time they've thrown, gone to the number four. Sick of layout. Number four. This time it's gone down to number six. Maddie Finch. Finch off the top ball. Yes. Running ball. Oh, him. number five again, Minty. Yeah. How good has she been? Around the corner. Ash, Gabby Sutherland. She only knows one way, that young lady. No, no answer. Oh, Esther. Esther. Oh. There was just oh. Esther. Had oh. no just a little bit now, of coming Esther in. Esther might be in a bit of trouble yeah. here. I think yep. we're going to the There's pocket. a yeah. card. And what colour, Minty? A yellow. yellow. Yeah, Esther just Esther came in Tino. hard. She, she did. She did get her arms up. And, uh, yep. 
I tell you what, we've got a game of rugby union on our hands. Two talented teams here. And, of course, that's come straight after a discussion with both captains. Yep. So I would say that um, Lee Jeffries, the referee, has pretty much put out a warning to say, look, we're, we're getting too many penalties. Then straight away you've got, you know, and it was just rush defence and you run straight on. So, Minty, um, I might just ask the young lady in front of me to just come closer to us, uh, Chelsea Semple. <laughs> no, I need to stay there, Chelsea, but uh, you must be really, really impressed with this game of rugby so far. Isn't it a great shot window for women's rugby in the Waikato? Do I have... Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, this is what we want, Foxy. Um, it's a tight game, obviously, all all tied up, and there's a lot of passion out on the field. Um, some pretty good skills on display, too. Um, I know the FPC coaches are here watching these girls with interest and um, I know Carla Hohoop is at home watching on the live stream helping out coaching this year so I know they're very impressed and um, yeah it's going to make a, a blooming good FPC team with some of these skills. Thank you Chelsea and fantastic to see Chelsea here today and I'll tell you what Melville coming close and they're in bench. Yeah look uh, Melville took the uh, quick tap and Kaitapu goes across and scores Melville 15-10 up this is really going to put a cat amongst the pigeons but uh, they took the tap penalty and uh, the number nine, Samantha Wood, nearly busted right through and scored. And then from there, the Melville's forwards just recycled, head down, rolling around the side, rolling around the side with possession in their hands. And then uh, Cheyenne Katapu crashes across for a great try. So 20 minutes to go, and the Huskies are behind. Oh, Graham Minty Mead, let's just have a look at this replay here. And what Melville's done so well today, the pick and goes, pick and go there, Cheyenne, and there she goes, Minty, and yeah, she's and over for season. the try. Season. All season. Top try scorer in the women's comp, and then you've got Konui on the old boys' side who is a top point scorer. So head to head, it's been pretty good. So looking like um, Husky's going to run a few more changes coming. Samantha Wood, Minty. Samantha Wood. They oh. set up that try fox, that tap penalty, yeah. and she just gutted yeah. the Huskies. Um, the Huskies defence got herself right up to almost to the try line. So game on, oh, seventeen. Twenty-two minutes to go here at Wallaby Park. We have a game of rugby union on our hands here, ladies and gentlemen. How cool is this? You can feel the tension around Wallaby Park here. You can really feel it. You've got the old boy supporters on our side, Mint. You've got the Melbourne supporters on the other side. This is exciting, Mint. Renee Holmes with the kickoff into the sun. Melville. A lot of chatter going on in defence. Ash Gabby Sutherland. That's a great kickoff from Holmes. Be knocked back into the hands of Huskies. The one thing you've got to do after you score points is retain possession. It's there. Baylor puts in the hands of Duplessis. Duplessis runs straight into Ash Gabby Sutherland. Great tackle by Gabby Sutherland. They go to ground. She rolls clear. Baylor. Did the Aho at first receiver. It's just uh, passing laterally at the moment. No breaks, but now the gap's opened up. Anna Masters cuts Ooh. through the hole at the moment. Gets up over the 22. Ball's coming back. Injury down for the Mel one of the Melville players laying on the ground in, in the uh, backfield. Woffers. Woffers goes through the middle. She feeds it out, gives it to Kennedy Simon. Simon on the cutback. She's a couple of metres out. Numbers, Minty. To Melville the... trying to counter ruck. Numbers to the left. Penalty it is against Melville. They're offside, just trying on the counter ruck. Baylor will come back with a quick Minty? tap. What are they going to do, Mint? Quick tap. tap. Go. Baylor will go. go. They're trying to fast Simon. Up. Kennedy Simon, the black food captain, Minty, on the charge. Baylor feeds it out. Got more advantage. More advantage to the Huskies. They need to get it wide. Big gaps out here to the left. Baylor needs to feed. Simon charges forward, gets put on the ground. Or was that Esther, one of the two? Baylor, they got people to burn out here. The 22, Titiaho puts it out wide to the 11 on the cutback. Tiria Todd gets cut down. Looking dangerous here. Vicky Rose Green, Minty, head down. And short again. Ball's there for Baylor. Baylor digging in. Looking for Kennedy Simon. Simon throws herself at the line. Ends up short. Oh, a great tackle, Minty. Baylor looking for an inside run. Gives it to the big number four, Puni. Again, Melville defence. Stoic and solid at the moment. Oh, with a big wide ball. Big long throw all out to Singh. Singh puts it out to Holmes. Holmes out on the wing. Cut back. Holmes cuts back in and scores. 
Renee what a Holmes great try by, by Renee Holmes. 17-15. Kick to come from out wide, but it had to come. Melbourne just ran out of defensive players. Yeah, they did, Minty. And that was a great try by Renee Holmes. Very good on her feet. The Black Fern fullback snuck back in and scored out wide. And now she's going to try and convert her own try. And we could have a tied up ball game here, Minty. Here we go. Let's have a look at the replay, my friend. 61 minutes gone, just wide running yeah. ball. Yep. And then Holmes, big right foot step, cuts the gap, back off the left foot and runs and scores a good try. Yeah, Minty, look for number eight, the Hamilton Old Boys Black Fern, the Black Fern captain, Kennedy Simon, and in the last sort of probably five to seven minutes, how involved has she been? How yeah. many times has she carried it, Minty? That She's starting to drive forward a little more and they're getting it, under, you know, putting it in her hand and, and they're doing what? That's the yellow card. Four more, four more minutes for the yellow card with um, old boys being down a player. But it's just they're starting to, to what I call as um, respect position and respect the ball. They're not so lateral. They're straightening it up a bit. They're not giving it to players who are in a worse position than themselves, mm -hmm. which they were really guilty of in the first half. It was it was panic football. And it's not a position where old boys have been no. under pressure this year. Kicks oh, over. Well, that's a great kick by Renee Holmes. 70 oh, It's 18 minutes to go. Mitty, I think they... They actually earned that right then, didn't they? Because they took a few one um, runners off the ruck like three times down there in the left-hand corner. Yep. They stuck the Melville D in, and then they went wide. So they earned the respect to go wide that time. That was a magnificent try by old boys. Geez, they're a talented team, Minty. Look, they are. And look, the big thing now is that from the kickoff, there's the one thing that um, both sides have been a bit guilty of today is not taking the ball cleanly from a restart. Mm. Melville are going to try and put this ball in there, put some pressure on the Huskies at the old boys' side and try and get competitive. Another good kick by Samantha Wood. She's been very good this afternoon. Clara Singh, great take, Minty. Yep. Liata Puni Leo, again, very... Look out all the way up to the halfway line. So that's the restart you want from yep. scoring points. You take the ball and you just take it forward. Now old boys are starting to do what they haven't done most of the game is take it forward. But again, sloppy put back. You know, the ball's on the ground. It's bounced around. It's it's just messy at the moment. They need to uh, hang on to that ball, Here Simon. Here we go. They're going to go wide again. But they're running That's laterally. Yeah, they need to straighten. There's, there's the straighten. Arna Masters. Yeah, See what happens when you straight. On yep. the cut back, they're straightening up. They're going through the defensive line of Melville that are up very flat. Baylor trying to dig in. Going to be a penalty. Oh. We're going to go oh, no. on this. Yeah. It's going to be number the number four. Oh. Goes up for five minutes. There was that general minutes. warning before. Uh, Ten minutes. Yep. <laughs> there was that general warning before. Yeah. So that's happened. Okay, they're on the wrong side, killing the pill, off you go. Well, I think Minty too, even when old boys play direct, they're still a faster tempo. Yep. Uh, they're very quick at... Uh, Not the... out. Ball yeah, hasn't gone out. Good Home's going for just a little bit too much distance. Potama fights oh, up. Now comes the counter ruck from yeah. old boys. Want to slow this down? Where's Rihanna? Yeah, there's Rihanna. Aspen will take that ball and just good, charge forward. Good tackle by Vicky Rose Green. And they're going to kick. And this is where I, I would have held on to the ball. But uh, Baylor, you don't beautifully. Want to give Renee Holmes any space, Minty, do you? No, nah, look, she's running out. She's got her uh, Black Ferns captain, Kennedy Simon. Running ball from Simon. Simon just straightens up. There's what you do when you straighten the ball up. Yeah. Aspen all on the ground over here. Holmes. Yeah. Holmes on the inside. Holmes at the breakout. Holmes is going to gut them. She's going to go and score underneath the posts. Renee Holmes, Kennedy Simon, Aria Baylor. Three class passes yeah. and three class players. And old boys hit the front. First time in the game, Fox. Yeah. 22 points to 17, 65 minutes gone. Espinal, when she's made for that run before, she has hurt herself. She's on the ground and not moving at the moment very much. Yeah, we don't want to see like it's a left that. shoulder. Yeah, we don't like to see that, Minty, because Rihanna has been very, very good today. Um, but how good has Kennedy um, Simon been in the last 20 minutes? Renee Holmes might be scoring the tries, but the Black Fern captain, is, she's really got into this game now. And how many carries has she had? Probably, I can count probably five or six in the last yeah. sort of uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, it looks like we've got a bit of a, a more injury what we think out here, Fox. Um, Espinel hasn't really moved. I think it could be the left shoulder she's landed on. She's moving that now. But um, a couple of the players out there making sure she's okay. Renee Holmes is going to be kicking right from right in front. But the neat thing was, Baylor, the kick through, and you said probably shouldn't have kicked, but Baylor took it, yeah. saw the opportunity. Renee Holmes running onto the ball at speed and straight, mm -hmm. drew pass. Kennedy Simon made the big break. Holmes looped around on her outside, mm -hmm. taking for the pass again. And um, 
you know, she beat three or four just with yeah. her, her, her neat feet. Yeah. And, and and got her down under the posts. Yeah, she's an outstanding footballer, Minty. You know, I think Melville probably in the second half, yes, they've been good, but they've gone away a little bit from their first half effort and they've kicked the ball from the base a number of times. I think in this last sort of 14 minutes, they need to hang on to the ball. Yeah. They need to keep recycling. Yeah, they do. They just need to do what they did in the first half, which was niggle the Huskies, the Hamilton Old Boys side, out of playing their normal game. Huskies have got their tails up now. That you know, They've had a couple of tries just from doing what they do well, which is taking the ball and running straight. And now they've straightened it up, we've got a different ball game. Mm. Before when it was, you know, they're running laterally, the Melville defence could come across and knock them over before they got the advantage line. Yeah, well, Melville, Minty, they, they know that uh, the Huskies are going to play around the corner, as we've talked about. They know they're going to try and find an edge. But what they're doing differently now with the ball in hand, they're actually taking a, a few sets. You know, they're hitting their, their, their ball runners. They're hitting their pods off the ruck. They're sucking the Melville defence in, and then they're going, Minty. So they're not going as early as they were in the first half. No, they're not. Um, it's just like quite a serious injury to Aspen or um, Fox. She hasn't moved much at all. She's still lying... Uh, hasn't really moved from where she's lying at the moment from probably the last three or four minutes. So a bit of concern out there just um, from that, the medics and the staff. That'll be a massive concern for, well, Melbourne for the remainder of the game, but also Waikato FPC because... I think it's shoulder. Setting up. I think it's shoulder, Minty. Oh, don't... Yeah. No, it can't be that shoulder because she's leaning on it. Yeah. Everything's hurting right now. She had a blinder of a oh, game, though. The she, carries yeah. and the... She's the, been um, good, Minty. No, Ash Gabby Sutherland, you know, She's been you know, a young lady who's always been physical, always gone forward. Now she's got some help around her, like the um, and I, I mean that uh, Maddie Finch, the six, mm. has just really, really um, assisted what Ash Gabby Sutherland does so well. Yeah, look, the crowd's clattering her off, and that's so well deserved. She's been stunning game, been mate. She's been an absolutely cracker of been a game. outstanding, and not just um, Minty with carrying as well. She's been very good over the ball. Yeah, uh, we've had a change on the wing here. So for we've had uh, Soraya Bada. So Soraya out of um, America, Minty, I understand, or Canada. Um, I have the to check 21. with that. Yeah, she, she's at Hamilton Girls High School um, with the headgear. She's still at Girls High. Yeah. Oh, the gap almost it up. Simon nearly makes the break. Old uh, Huskies, old boys are just oh, a different side right now. How they, good she been today, Minty? They she, suddenly realised by running straight, they're going to open yeah. up this Melville defence. Yeah. Oh, uh, kick through. Bit of Maya standing very Lila. deep. Lila. But she's got trouble in front of her. She has. Melville going to have to get behind her. Remember now. Oh, they haven't put her on the deck. She's made it up to the halfway line. She's made it back to her support. Well done, Leela. That's a great run by the young 15, who last year made a debut for the FPC team as a Two nine. Over again. Oh, by good charge now. Oh, good charge now. Tuffy L again, Minty. Look at the young lady go. Simon. There's numbers here, Minty. There's numbers here, Minty. Pass, this, pass. This talented team. Oh, no. Here, lady. We just tripped about her. The young 21. Sorry, Bara. Um, what a great run. Twinkle O's down the sideline. Came in and took the pass. Now, see, old boys, the Huskies are now starting to have to commit a few more to the, the ruck and more because they're getting the, the push. Simon, right through. Kennedy Simon. Absolutely with the big step and duck and pass. She scores under the posts. Yeah, she's been good, Minty. She's been so good today. 29-17. And isn't it fantastic to see our Black Ferns here yep. today playing uh, in our Gallagher's Women's Premiership and Kennedy Simon has had a big, big second half. Well, yeah, she was very, very quiet in the first half. Just uh, had been kept well, well and truly contained by the strong Melbourne defence and uh, yeah, yeah. the last sort of 10, 12 minutes of the game. Old boys, are, old, old boys are starting to find their feet. They're finding, starting to find the straightness of what they're running at, and they're starting to actually put points on the board just by going straight. I apologise, folks. Um, I did leave the stats up there. I think there's a couple of comments about uh, sprint policy. Folks, I think you should do a better job. Let's get such. We're looking for more help. No, it's, uh, I think it's a great uh, a great shot window today for women's rugby. A massive thank you. Yeah. Uh, we have um, Joel Scalander on the camera. He's Bevan doing a great Jenkins job. Evan Jenkins down the bottom. And uh, they, they put in a great effort and they give back to the game and they're here every week. And, and uh, yes, we're using our own cameras, but I think uh, what we're doing for the community game here is just absolutely fantastic, Mindy. It is. Renee Holmes converts that 31-17. Melville um, trotting back to halfway. 
been really um, surprised and uh, uh, and probably uh, Samantha Wood been a really really She's been very tidy good. number nine. But we knew old boys were going to finish strong. Noisha Hamilton. Noisha Hamilton's been one of our boys best today. That's a magnificent carry boy, Noisha there. Getting her team back out of vantage line. Vicky Rose Green, another one. She only knows one way, Graham and Timmy, and she'll play direct. Yeah, they're just going to straighten it up. And what um, you find the Huskies have done, they have just straightened the play out. Floppers with the ball, again, just straight running. Run uh, straight into uh, Morky, the number 12 from Melville, though. Good defence, so good good. strong line defence, um, knocking the Huskies back and possibly the turnover. There is the turnover. So that's just from good defence. Ash Gabby Sutherland there getting in uh, and destroying and annoying the Huskies' ball. Tapu, the number one. Uh, Turnover. Esther's, Esther's got across the top and stolen it. Taylor. Simon. Simon feeds out. Should have gone. No, it's split up the middle. Now we got the run. She cut back in again. Princess Elliot gives it to Simon. Kenzie Simon on the inside with wheels. Simon's going to run away. Score a second. Double for Simon. That's just straight running. And Melbourne just running out of defence. And I think probably, if anything, Fox running out of wheels. They're, just, they're tired. They've, they've defended like yeah. no tomorrow. They've played a game that's been hellishly competitive. And um, again, Kennedy Simon, just now it's starting to open up. We're seeing why this young lady's playing for Black Ferns. Yeah, we are, Minty. Um, but uh, hats off to Melville. They've given everything here this afternoon, and the game's not over yet. But it's looking like now that old boys may be running away with us. And uh, as we've talked about all day, the out wide. Uh, Princess Elliot there, salad as I call her, she's fantastic on her feet. And uh, and then Kennedy Simon's just had one hell of a second half. Uh, she's got uh, her hands on the ball as much as possible. She's carried really, really strongly. And then her black friend friends, Esther Tielo there with a the turnover. And then Renee Holmes with her running from the back and her goal kicking. They've been tremendous today for so the team. Yeah, old boys now clearing the bench. They're giving everybody on Daisy French out there. We've got to try to eat the Sarai Abada and uh, Renee Holmes. Like they've, they've cleared the whole bench. It fits out to uh, 36 17. Old boys have the lead now. We've got about eight minutes of the game left to play. Yeah, Ash Gabby Sublin, we're so proud of a team, though, Minty. Um, and the effort that Melville have put in here today, uh, they just uh, haven't given up. And, uh, you know, if we look, look back only probably 10 minutes ago, Minty. Yeah, they were in front. But you know, they were in front. So. But if you look at the game earlier in the year, what was it? 50 points that yep. Old Boys put on Melville? 60. 60. 61-3, I think it was. That's a great kickoff. It's going to come down just She's inside. Oh, on. taken. The number 14. Needs Rihanna Player. Yeah, Noisha Hamilton, though, again, Minty. Yeah. Yeah, she's been outstanding, Noisha Hamilton, today at number six. And I really hope that the FPC coaches have noticed that today. Um, I believe she's been very, very good. Daisy French. So Holmes is going to take up the penalty. Just put it down the sideline. Oh. It's not going to go out. Touch. Samantha Wood, the nine. Safe hands. Nice yeah, pass. Lila, Lila, Eremaya. She has ran really, really hard from the back today. Great little footballer this year. Great lady. pass to draw and pass. That's magnificent work. Yeah, it was. Well, unfortunately, it was trying to give Shay Daly a bit of space on the far side. Yep. Eight, 18. Trace to E.T. coming on in the 18. Yep. Run down there with a whole lot of referees, whistles, and sign them up, Fox. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, she's done a great job today, Lee Jeffries. Yeah. She's done a fantastic job. Get Kennedy it. Simon coming off. For a rest after scoring two tries. I said, that's enough from you, young lady. You can have a rest now. Sitting down with um, seven minutes of the game left to go. Beautiful afternoon here in Hamilton. Oh, beautiful, Minty. Fox, we should mention it. Warriors last night, outstanding. Yeah. Uh, for his 300th game for a... A wonderful player from down there, but um, yeah. the Warriors put it on the line. And they did, didn't they? They were very, very good. Third equal, Fox. I oh, know. I just thought I'd throw that in for you. Shawnee you Johnson. Something... How good is Shawnee Johnson well, this he year? Well, he's going to need to see a plastic oh. surgeon and get some facials redone. I'll tell you what, he his, is... his looks have gone after oh, last night. I'll tell you what, he's got a smile on his face and he's loving his rugby league. There's no doubt about it. He's Good scrum fantastic. from old boys. Yeah. Baylor. Running ball. Look at running hard, too, on the speed. Look at that for a cut. 
Young lady gets her. That's great footwork, eh? Just running onto the ball at speed. Well, she's been very good, Minty, to come on. I've yep. been very impressed with this young lady this year. Every time I've seen her play. Hamilton, the six again, just making distance. Esther, yeah. Vicky Rose Green. We're going to put them in the hands of the 23. Yeah, they're starting to open Melville up now, continuing to play around the corner. And there goes Vicky Rose Green. Gets put down, gets picked yeah. back up. Is that Rihanna Aspinall back out there? It is. Rihanna said, I'm okay, I'm coming back on. Tuppy L continue to do what she's done all day today. Minty. Ball's there again for Baylor. Running ball, it's going to open up. Renee Holmes. Renee Holmes looking. Is she going to run herself? Renee Holmes is going to go over and be short of the try line. We'll go back for the penalty. Probably should have let it go. The winger on her outside. Um, is that our sponsor down there? Is that our 52-year-old referee, oh, Zinni? He is. Zinni is only 52. Yeah, he didn't one, of the, last week. one of the great, <laughs> one of the great 52-year-old referees there, Zinni he's Patterson. Geez, he's a good man giving back to the game. And, he, and he's oh. a sponsor of this woman's yeah, side too. Yeah. Eh? He's all right. Bailey's Zinni great Bailey's. company. Bailey's. Bailey's real estate. Great company. Bailey's, Bailey's real estate. He's nearly as good as Peter Kelly. Peter Kelly, Aaron yeah, Patterson. Nearly as good folks. Right, Minty. Well, I might start trying to get down from here to grab the captains after the game. It's going to probably take me a five What's your minutes. Matter, Fox? Yeah, I know. It's still pretty tough. Okay. Still a long way down. There's a bit of comments that's going to take me longer. I brought you a ladder because last week we were just about stuffed getting up and down. I've tied the ladder to the scaffolding, Fox. You're not in danger. Just look where your feet are. It's not that far from your, your backside to your feet. He's only four foot three tall. So line out, Huskies, hard on attack, four minutes to go, 38-17. Taken, Cloppers off the top, they set, they're going to run at the line, Melville sacked them, Esther drives to the line and scores, 43 points to 17. Esther's had some time in the sin bin. She's come back. She scored the try. <laughs> Fox made it down off the scaffolding. Leomi Cloppers now. There's a bit of a, a spark in the step of the uh, old boy side. The last 10 minutes, they've just got the better of um, the Melville side. Good take uh, from Cloppers, top of the line out. Melville did the sack. Esther peels around to the left and just sheer strength gets her way over the line and scores. So Renee Holmes has the ball out wide. The whole bench of the uh, Huskies old boys side. Holmes, Black Ferns, 15. Towards the post, just drifts it to the left, uh, a smidgen. Holmes, full of running since she's come onto the game. Been a competitive old game of football. Old boy starting to run away with it at the moment. Probably the scoreline right now isn't... Uh, a real good. Uh, that's the word indication of where the how how competitive and how tough this game is. Ploppers knocks it on. Got to take the ball from the kickoff. So we're going to go back for the scrum. Esther saw the knock on. Melville picked it up. Around a pipe. Tried to run out, but just got monstered. Well, the young lady who's just been named in the Black Ferns squad, Samantha Wood, this Melville, number nine, been strong all day. Been strong all day. It's probably a 10-point difference, Fox, in the game. Melville with the scrum. Quick ball, it's come all the way up. Woods, 
Long pass. Nice pass right out into centre field. Running ball. Littermeyer. Runs up towards the gap. Does the cut and straighten up. Straight through the middle. Pass was there. Uh, tackle was high. Right up around the uh, shoulder. Tap and go from the six. Maddie Finch. Straight ahead. Head down and gone. Gabby Sutherland on the cut back. Floppers. Tackle Sutherland again. Those two have been at each other all day. Melville for the last chance, last rush. Gone back to the blind side. Gabby Sutherland tackled well. Puts the ball on the deck. Picked up. Still running blind. Little halfback Wood out to the wing. The wing on the cut. Coming back. Going to go close. And a try, Melville. Number 11 for Melville. Shea Daly been outstanding today. Charged away over the line. 43-22, tick to come, a couple of minutes to go, but Shea Daly, number 11 from Melville, just ball in hand, some good, good, hard straight running by Ash Gabby Sutherland, bit of help from Maddie Finch as well, so over she goes, Shea Daly makes the try. Uskies just running out of defence and Shea Daly cut back. Probably beats four or five players just on the cut. Drives herself over the line, scores the try. <laughs> Samantha Wood. Been hellishly impressed with this young halfback. Competitive, kicks well, passes well. Puts it towards the posts. Now nah, pulls it left. And that's the game. It is all over here at uh, Willoughby Park here in Hamilton for the women's club final, premiership final. Hamilton Old Boys have run out the winners over Melville, 43-22. After it was uh, so close at half time. Old Boys were uh, wondering what they were going to do. Well, they've done it. Slightly happier. Old boys side now from what they were at half time, but it is 43 22 as we'll get ready and uh, very soon we'll stay live, I think, as we, we hand things across. We're just going to move stuff out to the middle so we can get on the presentations. The mic will disappear for a, for a few minutes and we'll get some interviews from out the middle as well.
Right, we're back here at Willoughby Park and what an absolute humdinger of a game we've had here this afternoon. A shot window for women's rugby here at Willoughby Park under the sunshine. And with me, I have the victorious captain of the Hamilton Old Boys Huskies, Leo Coppers. Leo, that was a fantastic game by your team. Yeah, definitely. We had to dig deep for that one, but um, we have the heart and we obviously pulled it off. So that was great. So defensively today, you did have to work really hard for that first 65 minutes. Melville really brought it to you, didn't they? Yeah, 100%. They um, showed heart in that first um, 60 minutes and we definitely let ourselves down a bit with discipline. But um, we dug deep and knew where to, um, where to go and what to do. So um, just digging it in got us where we needed to be. And for your team, you've been training probably since February and here we are now at the uh, back end of June. It must be really, really special to bring home the Gallagher's Women's Premiership Trophy. Yeah, no, 100%. It's always special to bring in a trophy back home to our club um, and especially especially good this year and special for our young girls coming through. Um, this year we definitely showed the depth that we have in our team and in our club um, and that it isn't just a one-off or our um, black friends or our FPC players that make us, it's the girls that come in from school. Yeah, let's just talk quickly about that before you go back to your team. And you're 100% right. You know, the Black Ferns, yes, uh, they've come back in. But the young ladies got you there, didn't they, with all that work earlier on in the competition? Yeah, 100%. They're the girls that came straight from their um, school trainings, um, had two trainings in a row, um, showed up for us, um, showed some real heart coming out straight from school um, to women's rugby. There's a massive step between the two, so um, big props to them for um, showing up as they did. And to you personally, Leo, oh, I thought you had a fantastic game. So congratulations. You lead from the front. So go and join your team and we'll see you soon, eh? Cool. Thanks, Fox. Joel Scalander, I've got another wonderful young lady. And I know as uh, somebody who's got to stay mutual, I'm not supposed to have favourites, but I do. And this young lady here who's coming with her with her son, Ash Gabby Sutherland, she just epitomises everything about Waikato Women's Club Rugby. Ash, I was so proud of your team today. I thought you were magnificent. Thank you, Foxy. Thank you. Yeah, super proud of the girls. Really proud of the girls, actually. They did really well. And I thought today you brought a game plan, uh, a really clever game plan. You slowed the game down in that first 65 minutes. You tried to hang on to the ball. And you didn't kick it away. And you really made old boys work really, really hard for that win. Yeah, yeah, no, we did. And good spotting. We did come with a game plan. <laughs> we worked really hard behind the scenes. Obviously, um, our round robin game didn't go so well for us so we had to change things and the girls have worked hard as individuals and as a team to come out here and put a performance on the paddock so super proud of them and obviously there's a lot of young ladies out there who we know and who play for the fpc team today one young lady today i thought was so good was the number nine samantha wood i thought she had a fantastic game yeah she's she's cool she's really cool she come to us from australia i think she played for the western force and then came over to play for us and i think she's 18 years old and yeah she's she's really cool she controls the game and it offers us something else giving us a kicking game so that really helps yeah and for yourself personally again another final it's fantastic to see you out there as i said i think you epitomize everything that's good about our community game and um yeah we, we're all proud of the effort that your melville team put in today so well done thank you very much foxy i appreciate you well done, buddy. thank you there we go, ladies and gentlemen, and our 92,000 Facebook followers. What a game of footy. An absolute shot window for the women's game. A game now that is just the fastest growing rugby game in our country. It's the fastest growing sport. And today, those two teams went hammer and tong at each other. And I thought it was just a fantastic game of footy. Melville, we talked about it. Yes, the Ash Gabby Sublins, but it was some of the other players. Maddie Finch, the number six. I thought she was sensational today in the loose. I thought Bailey, um, I thought Samantha Wood at nine. A young lady, as uh, Ash just talked about, she's come from the Western Force. Her kicking game was superb. Her work at the back of the malls was superb. And Rihanna Ferris, how good was she? She was just like an energizer a battery today. She just kept on going and going and going. But old boys had too much class in the end, and it came through Blackfern Kennedy Simon. How good was she? How many carries did she make in that last 20 minutes to get her team on the board and also across the advantage line and Renee Holmes the Black Fern fullback she was superb when she was kicked the ball she just opened up that Melville team so what a great game of footy 
we're going to now cross live and we're going to do the presentation. But thank you so much, as I said, to our 92,000 Facebook followers for tuning in. And we will be back shortly. Uh, firstly, as the two teams um, start to make their way through to the podium here, I'd just like to thank you all for coming out this afternoon to support our Women's Day. A game, not this just as the fastest growing rugby game in our country now, it's the fastest growing sport. And it shows the support that the game has got by the amount of people that come out this afternoon. But what I say is the main game here at the stadium, and we've got the curtain raiser coming up, when the Chiefs take on the Queens and the Reds. So firstly, I want to thank our sponsors. Our sponsor, Gallagher. Gallagher's do so much for our community games. They give back to the community which supports them. And they are the main sponsor of the Gallagher Women's Premiership. To grassroots. Grassroots, I trust, that gives even more support to the community game, probably more support than any other sponsor yeah. in the region. The now, the yeah. I'm now. going now. Oh, awesome. yeah. Thank you so much, Rich. Don't worry. That, with that, the wind remains, yeah. we can't have the game. Yeah. So, firstly, I would like to ask our officials uh, to make their way forward today, uh, Lee Jeffries. International referee, somebody who's given so much to the game, she's went for the IRB and her officials, so thank you so much. And let's have a lot of applause for Lee and her team. What they did a magnificent job today. So firstly, uh, Lee, great like to have you uh, back here in the week, have you? And you've been back to the game that you love and uh, isn't it cool that uh, we actually had this thing put the, uh, the sun shining out today and not the rain? You must have enjoyed it. Thank you, you know, all this game. But come with us.
engaged, these sororities, um, everyone who attends are enjoying and doing really well, and the most of them saw a lot today, they're yeah. thinking we're doing amazing, so we um, hope that that shows out there with this engagement project, and it's an important part of West Wales Library. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got any questions for our Christian staff for the Now, I want to go to the footy, it was, and Melbourne didn't they come to play? I thought they were fantastic today, and they were superbly led by their captain, number eight, Ash Gabby Sullivan. So, I'd like to invite Ash. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I just said it to 92,000 Facebook followers. That I believe that Ash epitomises that. We think that's fantastic out of a women's game. She is an absolute pure champion. She's a mum. Last year she, she had a baby in January, and then not so long after she was represented our Waikato team again, our FBC team, only six months later. And today I thought she was superb, so I'm going to uh, ask Ash to speak a few words and then. Um, Introduce your players and a couple of them will their medals. Thank you, Bob Sam. Very, very kind. Um, yeah, I just want to just say I'm really, really proud of our girls today. Um, we've done a lot of work behind the scenes um, to come back from our round robin there two days off, boys, um, along both individually and as a collective. And I think today we put a really good performance on the field. And super proud of our girls, the effort, the mana that was shown on that field today for the goals, and I think we executed that really well. So super proud of you um, to the Husky ladies for the effort, outstanding. Um, the girl that came off the bench made a massive impact, and that was that was good for you guys. Um, so kudos to the Husky. Um, but yeah, thank you to Lee and the um, Pride Live referees. Um, she gave us a bit of a telling off by at some stage during the game. Kudos to you, Lee. Thank you. Um, that was well. And, um, and thank you to the Waikato Rugby Union and anyone else who's done on the event and and come to speak. Um, we've got Kelly Eastwood. Uh, Nikita Porima. We've got Mitz. I'm sorry. Brian. Renoa, Cheyenne, Sam, Lila, Cherish, Kyla, Megan, Bronte, Shane, TK, Moiki, Bags, Hi, <laughs> Right.
Right on, ladies and gentlemen, a huge applause for the runners up Cowboys. Well, I thought they were sensational today. Well, uh, Let's move forward. Our successful captain, Leo Clopper, on the head of the Cowboys Muskies. Ladies and gentlemen, how good was this young lady today? She carried I lost count. And I believe that she was an absolute true leader for her team. Leah must be so proud of you girls. Yeah, they're more than um that quote maybe they didn't take anyone too quickly. Um and just the way Yeah, let's talk about it. We've put our, aside our black friends for a minute because we know they're magnificent. But the other young ladies, and there's a lot of schoolgirls in your team, and they've got to you where you got today, didn't they? And they have uh, come from school, gone to trainings, and how good have those young ladies been for you? I'm refreshing, and it's good to have some um, uh, young girls challenge the um, older girls to um, be better, be faster, be stronger, um, so they can live a And to your coach and management group, uh, the Prince of Balawaya, as I call him, Ruben Samuels, uh, former Black Korean coach, also Brazil Sevens coach. Uh, Ruben, it's so good to have him back in the community game, isn't it? And to your sponsors, uh, would you like to put a special shout out to them? Put up to our chances, um, coming here, um, every day, no matter when, um, we're playing, where we're playing, and what the weather is, and they're always from our partners. Okay, so we'd like to invite the uh, Hamilton Old Boys Husky players to come forward, Leo, and if you can introduce your team uh, to their supporters and their families. Please, <laughs>
Well, ladies and gentlemen, our challengers, Wolverines, British, British, the Hamilton Oakways Whiskey. He's going to get the mascot. Um, Samuel thinks the mascot is the lady. So you're going to get the front. Well, no, it's the husky. <laughs> Welcome to BPMG Stadium, Waikato. The gates are now open. Please have your tickets ready for scanning and your bags ready for inspection. <laughs> Folks, that is the end here of the Gallagher Women's Premiership Final for 2023. Congratulations to both sides there. Um, not an awesome final. Thank you to uh, David Fox and Graham Mead, as well as Joel Skilander for his work on the camera. I do apologise for those couple of issues, and I've realised that you might not have heard some of the um, presentation due to some soft speakers. But um, no, thanks very much for tuning in. Next week, folks, um, I will be down in Wellington doing wheelchair rugby, WRC2. That should be a great um, shot before I come back here um, on the 24th down the Waikato here. Um, and then I'm off to Japan for a week. So that's going to be fun. Stay safe out there. Look after yourselves and especially mental health, folks. Um, mine's being okay, at least. Um get to your north. Okay.